Iris, what are you doing? Oh, hi, Uncle. I'm creating a song. Did you want to hear it? No. Oh, come on. Don't be a sourpuss. I don't want to hear it. Well, too fucking bad. You're going to hear it anyway. On the high seas of Althea, there was a motley crew. And of all the scallywags and dogs, the officers were few. Our great first mate, Oregian, the captain he obeys. They'll keep him clear of all the knives and five-finger fillet. Next in command is Sigurd, gunner and fiery mage. Make sure to maintain all the guns or face his fiery rage. Quiet cord, a master cord is there to hold the line. His sharp eyes make one nervous, though he's a cuddly feline. The goodest boy, Athelstan, Dio, Wolf, but still crew. Protects, attacks, and eats the snacks, he'll face each peril too. Kind and fierce, Bane Thorell keeps the whole crusade. Through pranks and wit and cheerful smiles, life is far from plain. Last would weave a iris, who smiles while she lies. If you were just to obtain her trust, you'd have a strong ally. Do you want to write your own lyrics, Uncle? No. I will write something nasty about you if you don't do it yourself. <sighs> the highest was the captain, t'was Lionheart by name. A strong and scary fellow, the strongest in the game. All those were bored the courage, proudest vessel on the sea. No other ship may ever compare, compare their pedigree. Hello, everybody, and welcome. We're the Smoky Dragons. We are Travis Dungeon Crawlers, and today is Legends of Arcadia, Episode Althea, Season 2, Session 7. Yo ho, <laughs> yo ho, it's time to scare Sarge. Because eh. of zombies, and I feel really bad about it, but they've already been established how they sound, and it's part of, like, main story and stuff, so. We, we, we follow the lore in this house. And uh, standing. yeah, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna go ahead and get into the recap in just a second. But how's everybody doing? Everybody uh, excited, ready to oh, yeah, man. fight some zombies? Yeah, I can't wait to see them fucking flooding my <laughs> homeland. Yeah, dude, I'm so stoked! It's so great to be back. It's a party right. just for you. Yeah, -na 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 -na. they're dying to meet me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> great thank you thank it's you great we're yeah. jail but great yeah <laughs> i'll never go <laughs> can't take him alive we'll have to yeah the zombie first. Ninja, ninja cleese has a warrant out for his arrest to be put in word jail he just keeps avoiding it we start the episode and then a ray gun's not even there he went somewhere else <laughs> where'd he go we're jail <laughs> all right let's get into the recap what happened last time so Last we left the crew, they were in Cordoba taking care of a few things and sharing what they had learned at the library uh, at Cafe Lazimu, uh, Harold's uh, prestigious restaurant. Um, and after hearing a performance uh, from Syrah and you know exchanging this information, there was a lot of information exchanged. I'm not going to go into it. If you want to know what they exchanged, watch last episode. Um, but yeah, essentially they figured out uh, about these pieces of Genesis uh, and, you know, have kind of started piecing some things together and are preparing for their journey to Auckland when all of a sudden uh, a raven was dispatched uh, to the king saying that Midora is under attack. While the night prior they had uh, witnessed a a man with uh, long black hair had visited the king. Uh, more on that later. Uh, we don't know what that has to do, but the crew is immediately teleported to Midora, where it is flooded with zombies. And they see, leading the charge against these zombies, a certain hobgoblin. And... With that, we return to Legend of Arcadia, episode Althea. Nice quick recap. It was not, I mean, there was a lot of stuff going going on before, but it's a lot of information that was exchanged, so. Nice and succinct. Yes. That's what? 
and I guess we could start this off with roll for initiative. Eighteen. And Zod, you too roll for initiative. Oh! Oh. Because we are in the middle of a fight. Uh, you might want to rage. <laughs> if you were not already. <laughs> I, I believe he's already raging. I think, I think him and I both are. I mean, you're not a barbarian. Listen, I don't need for to be. Him, I'm, it actually from, means I'm something. fucking front. <laughs> what? Why did I... Why have I just All forgotten right. where Sending oh my y'all God. the owl bear link right now? Uh my brain is not working. What so if Solar has said anything, I don't think his mic is working. I haven't said uh, anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just angry. <laughs> it's the uh, it's the Zod it's the Zod classic. Initiative of the INT, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, my mind yeah. is and the INT is probably your intelligence. Just roll a d20 and add your initiative bonus is plus five. You can also click the plus five next to your little uh, armor class thing. That'll roll it for you. Oh my god, that's where it was. Okay. That text wasn't showing up. So. Uh, are these luck enabled? <laughs> you can use luck on an initiative if you'd like. Okay, Wait, really? Yeah, I think. <laughs> it's any time you roll a d20. Yeah, right. yeah for luck. If you, have, if you have luck, yeah. 90 percent of this crew has luck. <laughs> and even I am the only see. one that doesn't have luck. <laughs> it's a bunch of assholes I see. Unlucky. <laughs> Lucky assholes. Yeah, I was gonna say, excuse you. And also, sixty-six percent of the of this crew are champions of gods. Yeah. Fuck you. Look, I just wanted to take a warlock level. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My mom says I'm a champion. All right. Uh, twenty-five to twenty. Yo. Uh, Twenty-three. Uh, twenty-one. Okay. Lucky and, does. And cord, what did you get? Twenty-two. Okay, so. It's Mine was eighteen. God. Luck does say attack roll, ability check, or saving throw. Is initiative technically an ability check? It's a, it's a dexterity ability check. Yeah. It's kind of a champion so, yeah. of this village once upon a time. Uh, 20 to 15, and I know Sigurd's... Uh, 19. 19. Okay. A Radeon 19. Did you say his was 18, or...? Yes. Okay. So where exactly are we supposed to be on this map? Where did we get teleported into? Uh, so Zod, you're more towards the center, and your, uh, your goblin uh, army is currently fighting other zombies uh, at a different part of town. Uh, and you just went towards the fountain. So everybody else... Are these all goblins or are these zombies? Those are zombies. Oh, okay. These um, are not your people. So uh, everybody else, you should be... Oh, that's a, that's a line. I didn't want to do that. Everyone else is a line. <laughs> what you call it? There we go. So there's the pointer. Okay. So I have to move. I have to move all this stuff every time I want to do something because I have to make the screen over here pretty big to show everybody. All right. So uh, the rest of you should be here. Zod, you should be like roughly around this area. Mm-hmm. So, so where were we again? Tokens. Uh, everybody else over here. Okay. Cool. Um. Iris, Which line am I? Yeah, what? What did you get, Iris? Not one. Awesome. So add that Whoa. plus your plus your oh. uh, initiative. Oh, uh, plus my initiative is technically nine. You have a plus eight to your initiative. I'm double checking, but I'm pretty sure. I'm just. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you my do. Bad. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay. I thought Jeez. I was misremembering. Oh, that's, that's right, mine. Bards. Hold on. I have to pull up the owlbear on my phone because it has my token on there. Oh yeah. The, oh, you're right. token. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll I'll place it, and then we'll. Oh, 
Did you just put all that in all caps, or has it been like that? I just changed it literally. <laughs> I, thought so. I thought so. I was like, I don't remember, I don't remember man being in all uh, caps. Since we already have a fighter, should I put a shield down for the Ray? Uh, yeah. I go into my notes to make sure I'm spelling that right. Berries. Cord. We'll have this be Sebastian. Oh, yeah, he's with us. Heck yeah. I, oh, I, for, I forgot Sebastian was with us, so that's why it's was like, I'll use the Paladin shield for that's fine. Princess, but... <laughs> the, the star is fine. Oh, shit, and she's with us too. That's right. He What's her name where again? I go. What's up? What's the princess's name again? Saray. Saray, thank you. I was just thinking Saran. Where is, uh, here, here's a ring. There we are. Athelstan. Should be everybody. Each of these blocks, five by five, as usual. Yes. Okay. Just doing some measurements. All right. Now everybody's here. You uh, all see um, these twisted, amalgamated uh, corpses. Just. Um, covered in this, like, black sludge uh, kind of material. Uh, and we have top of the order, Zod. You're already raging. I gave that to you before even starting this combat, so... Oh, cool. Well, my Apparently D8, you were but... already here cutting zombies in half, so... Yeah, go ahead and roll your D8 to find out which type of rage you're doing. Oh, nice. I got the Thor's hammer one. Ooh, perfect. So... <laughs> He can throw his great sword and it just comes back to him. It teleports back to me and changes it to force damage. That is so cool. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> chest beam is also pretty cool. I do enjoy the chest laser. Oh, the fairy is, Luna, fairy Luna is the funniest. <laughs> oh, yeah, the little, the little impuzad. <laughs> <laughs> Um, then I will um, wreck. I'm gonna go up to horrible uh, abomination number five and reckless attack. Alrighty. Does a 17 hit? 17 does hit. What is my my rage damage is still just two, right? Uh, yeah, it should be. 
plus two. Uh, so that's 12 damage. Okay, 12 damage. Another one. No. Unless 10 hits. Uh, 10, unfortunately, does not. Uh, well, since I have the Thor's hammer one, I can uh, use my bonus action to punch him in the face, though. That's true. How about uh, 25? 25 does hit. And that's 7 damage. Just flat 7 damage every time. Okay. And that's my turn. So that's 22 damage total to number 5, correct? Mm-hmm. All right. Cord, you're up. Bane, you're on All deck. Right. All right. Uh, right in the grapes. <laughs> <yep>. <laughs> All right. Um, guess we're gonna uh, go with the crossbow. Uh, I think there's really no point. I there's nowhere to really sneak, so... Uh, yeah. You mean those stands up top, maybe? Yep, crossbow number seven. Okay, roll the hit. Twenty-five. Twenty-five does hit. All right. Uh, okay. And for that. Uh, 10 damage. Okay. Um, and bonus action. Should I move? Up to you. Uh, no, continue to form a defensive line in front of me. <laughs> Protect me, Squire! <laughs> the person with the gun needs to be behind a wall. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> no shit. I'll just get shot uh, okay. in the I, back I of will, the head real quick. I will, uh, I will not use my bonus. I'll stay where I am. Yep. Well, you, so, like, you, you still see, use this right here? Too close. Oh, uh, uh, um, yeah, I think like six technically... If six gets 30 feet of movement, I think he technically can reach you. Um. In, oh, God. Survey says 40, so he's safe. Uh, can you move me to the. Uh, the top left corner of. Uh, oh, God. The, bo um, the box. Here? One left. A virus. Oh, there? uh, no, 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 uh, uh, one, two, three, uh, four, um, there's three boxes from the bench. So Iris and I are diagonal. Oh, oh here. So. Just. No, in front, please. Oh, here? Er yes. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Hey, Nova, I know you said that I was on deck. Can I quickly run and grab something? Uh, yeah, sure. Cool. So as this um, as this fight is beginning to play out, um, Zod just rushes in and slash, slash, or, and he misses the second one, so he just punch! Punches one of the zombies in the face and... <laughs> and Kord uh, takes, a, takes a shot at number seven and just... <laughs> That voice is always difficult to do. 
I'd like to assume that was also the zombie. <laughs> yeah. The zombie's got a cold. It's always difficult to do. Yeah, the zomb- zombie's got a got a head cold. God, Jared, why did you allow us to have... I forgot your name was Jared Nijiklis. <laughs> I was trying to be like, God, Jared, why'd you uh, choose these voices for us? I was just going... Way to so out sorry. me in the recording. No, anyways, you're good. And cut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's okay, well, Sark wasn't here post. for it, so we don't have to put it in the recording. Yeah. What did I miss? She can, she can, she can forego all that shit talking we were doing. No, I'm kidding. Anyways. All right, um, all right, Bane, you're up. <laughs> Talk to me. Just address and everything. Hold up, I'm struggling. <laughs> I got new dice. I don't oh. know if y'all can see that. You'll have to show this um, one. Yeah, you'll have to screen. take a you have to take a picture or something. I will. Alright. I am going to immediately try and attack I believe that's number ten. Okay. Uh you'll have I'm to, able to you'll have to move out of the uh move beh- from behind everybody. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just get between me and Iris. Just shoot me in the back of the head. We left you an opening. Yeah, you can do that. Uh, a regular on attack, by the left. way. Okay. okay. Oh wait, 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 wait. Can I can I retro that? Sure. If I move, it's like chess. If you don't take your hand off the piece, you can move it back. <laughs> if I move on the mouse key, we can't see your hand, so just lie about it. Behind oh. Saray. Because Athelstan is wolf, am I able to fire over him? Yeah, I'll allow it. Okay, it's been, sick. been the case in the past. Bad attacks. Um. All right, I'm going to first fire with vicious pistol, which is a nineteen. Nineteen hits. Sick. Um, Were you shooting at 10? Yes. Um. Which will take 12 damage. Oh, I also... Sorry. I also forgot to put other pieces in play. By the way, does the silver... Do any extra damage? No, I uh, it is. It uh, will just bypass non-magical resistance. Okay, mad. Just but it does not give you like plus ones or anything. Okay. Yeah, cool. That's all good. So we can damage you. Um. Vicious pistol you have is magical anyway, so. Yeah. Um. The. Is moving a bonus action, or do I still have my bonus action? Movement's just movement. Movement is movement. Okay, sick. Movement has its sick. own action, essentially. Yep. Um, and then I will fire with my revolver, which will be a 28 to hit. Yes. Did you roll damage for uh, Vicious Pistol? Oh, yeah, it did 12 damage. Okay. Yeah, I must have missed that. That's okay. Um, okay, so first shot. <laughs> you wound okay. me. It's okay, we're gonna destroy them all, right? Well, these are tougher than your average Left for Dead zombies if they can take more than one shot. <laughs> um, and then the revolver does 13 damage, and with my bonus action. I'll reload. I think it's the vicious pistol. Is yep. that the one that I only have? Yeah. yeah. All right. And um, how, hold up. how much did the revolver I'm do? Sorry. Thirteen. Oh. Um, and then twenty-five didn't kill it. Damn. Actually, no. I'm not going to just yet. I'm gonna save that for Trixies. It's all good. Oh, Kidoki. Um. Oregion, Sigib, you're up. You're on deck. 
You're about to say Regan and Sigub, you're up. I was like, excuse me? Alright. Yeah, um, technically, fine. technically, Ethelstan is on deck because he I was goes gonna right say, technically, you. a Regan and Ethelstan, excuse you. Yeah. yeah is so, so, technically, um, Ethelstan's on deck, but. How dare. Sigub, start thinking of your. Me. Start thinking of, thinking of your uh, move. You attack my home and doing. now you forget Best Boy, dude? Come on. Alright. Well, we're gonna move. Okay, maybe we don't want to move to that guy, actually. Um, get away from this, so I don't get shot in the back of the head somehow. Um, there, and had it, has anyone gone for 10 yet? Uh, Bane Sarge did some damage 10. to it. Yeah, okay. Bane just shot at 10. Okay. Then I will, I will aim for the same. So. 17. 17 hits. Uh, that's a nine. Nine points that's of damage. Good. As you loose the arrow, it goes right between its eyes and it uh, hits the ground and it is just like Legolas. Only oh, wasn't. <laughs> Anyways, just throw your shield down and start sliding around. <laughs> yeah, you need to do, a, do a do a do a kick flip on an Urukai shield just because. Uh. Let's see. Okay, so I still got I still got another I can do, right? Yeah, you got another shot. I think I can... Oh, sh I mean, I'm like at like 500 feet or more, right? Yeah, the you have range. A, you, you have a lot of range. Yeah. My old you could probably shoot everything. everything on this map. Yeah. <laughs> I could shoot the one that's just getting into town from across the way. <laughs> so... Uh, 13. Uh, you're aiming for 13? Oh, no, no, sorry, sorry. I should have said that was a roll. If you want to still use that? Uh, I am aiming for nine. Okay, and uh, you rolled a 13 to hit? Rolled a 13, yes. That is a miss. Shit. You, uh, okay. Your arrow gets embedded in the fountain. No! <laughs> not the beautiful town centerpiece. Not, <laughs> oh, not, the, not the one Abe carved. Fuck. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I feel like it would actually react like that, though. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Damn on it. On to Athelstan. Yep. <laughs> it goes to get it after the battle, and you just can't get it. <laughs> All right. Um. So he's got. All right. So oh, only time I'm before check. him, I could have given him dragon spear. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. Right. Hey, Athelstan is gonna wait until he goes. If that's cool. No. All right. <laughs> so. Hold his action for, for yeah, 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 yeah. He'll have his uh, what is it? His action bar, like Final Fantasy. He's just gonna be chilling on it for a bit. We're gonna skip over him. Um, okay, so Athelstan has fifty feet. He is gonna make a go at God. He's fast. He can he can get right to nine. So he's gonna go ahead and head right up to him. He's gonna sick balls. Um, All right. Just gonna... Oh, my bad. Did you end up doing that? Yeah, I moved him. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, you, did you, in, you, you I was in the process. In? Yeah, I was. In the, now there are two of them. Uh, yeah. Okay. So yeah, he's gonna he's gonna sick sick balls on that dude. All right. Uh, roll the hit. Or person. You know. Uh, that is holy shit. 18. 18 plus. What does he get on that? This is the only time I'll need it. I swear. I can I tell you. I hit. believe you hit. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. I'm. I think. I'm just. Maybe we just say it hits from there. Okay. I hit yes. with 17 and you rolled an 18, so I think you hit. Yeah, that's fair. I might have missed because I was I was gone. I didn't catch what you had. Uh, okay, so that is six damage. Uh, that is eight all together. Eight damage on nine. On nine. All right, sir. And is that Athelstan's turn? Uh, doesn't he? Doesn't the zombie need to make a uh, strength check to see if it goes prone? Oh, that's right. Thank you for remembering that. I need to. I feel like we only remember the, the, about the, that. The is technically a creature, times. yes. So yes, we should. Yeah. Um, that is a sixteen. So that means it succeeds the strength check, correct? What's its DC? Dire wolf. Uh, his, DC thirteen his, strength saving throw. Yep. So. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it, it's safe. 
Um, so that is Athelstan's turn. Sigib, you're up. Yep. Okay, well, I am going to... Is this the pointer tool? Here it is. Uh, breakout Old Reliable and centered right here. Fireball? Yes. <laughs> I was like, Old Reliable? What? Uh, and just for funsies, I'm going to quicken it. So you're going to hit... Right seven, on the pretty fountain. Seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, nine, eight, nine 12, 12, 13, 13 14. Ethelstan will be just out of range. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Just cool. obliterates the fountain. So uh, they all need to make good. me deck saves. All right. Seven, or, uh, number seven fails. Number uh, eight. DC is 17, by the way. Just so number you know. Number eight fails. Number nine fails. Number nine. Number 12 succeeds. Number nine. Number 13 fails. Number 14 succeeds. Good. I'm just checking a uh, feed again, make sure I'm doing this math right. Uh, everyone who failed is going to take 38 points of uh, damage. Anyone who succeeded takes half. Because I rolled 32, I get to treat the 1 as a 2, uh, and plus 5 because it's fire. So, 38 points of damage to all who failed? Yes, and that would be 19 to who... Uh, no, that would be 17 to all who succeeded. Okay. No, that would be that'd be nineteen. Yeah, nineteen to, or nineteen to all who failed. My bad. Thirty-eight yeah. to whoever failed. Nineteen. No. What? What? Whatever. I know what you mean. <laughs> Do the math. So, so uh, seven dies. Eight dies. Damn. Nine succeeded, and it is still up. Uh. 12 succeeded and it is still up. 13's dead. 14 succeeded and is still up. And Athelson gets a nice front row seat. So, as you unleash this massive fireball, you are able to take out three of those zombies. Just... Uh, and that since that quickening made it my bonus action uh i can still use cantrips for my action so i am going to twin a firebolt to winning <laughs> sorry twinning Does a 25 hit 9? <laughs> uh, yes, it does. <laughs> Sweet. And then for damage, he is going to take... Eleven. I'm going to add the extra 5 to this damage roll for the attack. Uh, so 16 damage to 9. 9, uh perishes in hellfire just you uh the fire hits directly into its eye and its head just bursts into flames okay and then it does a 17 hit six a 17 does hit six okay then he is going to take He's going to take 12 fire damage. And because uh, I used meta magic, I can use my option to blink 30 feet. So let me see if I want to move anywhere. We'll blink forward just a little bit. So. Okay. And uh, I don't think describe this fountain. Like, how how tall is it? Like, can we 
obviously like the middle thing looks pretty tall, but like, is it like, can I see across? Uh, the way most the of it, like, is, can, it, yeah, it's, it's is it like waist high, like for the outer rim that actually holds the water? Like, how tall is the pool? Um, uh, yeah, it's about waist high, and the okay. the little um, uh, curvature things they raise up about um about fifteen feet, uh, but they are it's just it just they're um they're the like metal, that... metal uh kind of like little thin pieces that go up to the the top that has the but i can i can see through it yes basically or something is directly behind the pillar i got the feeling the centerpiece was the tallest yes yeah yeah the centerpiece is tallest at uh at about 20 feet i just want to make sure i know what's going on through there because smells spell sniper i can i can ignore the cover anyway so yeah so you can hit like (laughs) any you can hit anything on the other side as well Cool. Um, so you now curve uh, the firebolt wanted down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, zombie number one's gonna go and it's going to attack this villager. Uh, natural twenty. <laughs> oh, so it kills the villager. Goodbye, Bye, villager. <laughs> yep. Oh, wait, there's villagers. Not yep. Dan. Yeah, the little sacks of money. I mean the um, the uh, <laughs> the little soon to be yeah. loot bags. They. Uh, this zombie yeah, so just takes it. takes a bite out of uh, out of this person's neck, and they're just like, ah! and the zombies just, ah! and uh, they are dead. Takes a bite out of crime, Jesus. So I'll be like, are you sure? Are you sure they're dead? They're not gonna walk that off. I don't know, man. I got hope. They're not gonna walk it off, but they're gonna they're gonna wake up and walk it off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wake back up and walk it off. Uh, zombie number two is going to attack this one. Oh no. You guys could get all these zombies in a straight line for me. I could solve this problem really fast. Uh, that is an 18 to hit. I'm going to train them Call of Duty style. <clears throat> uh, they're dead. What did these villagers ever do to you? They existed. <laughs> they smell nice. They exist purely for me to kill them. Good and tasty. What a welcome home. <laughs> hey, welcome back. People 15 down. to hit. That hits. I mean, this might not be the worst thing that's ever happened in Medora. <laughs> welcome back. All your friends are dead. <laughs> There's Bob the shopkeeper getting this fucking juggler ripped out. Uh, number four is going to go for Zod. Uh, I don't think a seven hits. No. Oh wait, it, it has not. advantage though because you. Use it your does. Uh, it does. I don't think an eight's gonna hit. <laughs> it is not. Was that was that a raw eight or with their modifier? With their modifier. <laughs> <laughs> These zombies don't got much going for me. Uh, number five is gonna go for Zod. Oh wait, number four has a second attack. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, just... I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm, there's a lot oh, no. to track. Oh no, I'm, la- I'm laughing because I just now saw Zod's piece. <laughs> I missed oh. it the whole time. Uh, yeah. 19 to hit you, Zod. No. Oh, that's right. Your AC is 20, isn't it? It is. All right, number five. Well, first attack is a seven. Second attack. 24. There, there we go. So that is uh, 16 points of slashing damage reduced to 8. Got it. As it claws across your chest. And Just a scratch. Up next is... Uh, Sebastian, and he is going to run over here. They're going after the villagers. Protect them! And he uh, he summons his hallowed chamber, and uh, fires at number eleven. The whole chamber uh, just. That is a thirty to hit on the first. And a 30 to hit on the second. Rolled 19 two times. It's a plus 11? Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
17 points of force on the first. And 12 points. So you know your homebrew class is busted. <laughs> 12 points of, uh, of force I mean, on I, the I, second. I, I say that, but in like a level up or two, I'm going to have a plus 10 to hit. <laughs> I was about to say, what homebrew class isn't busted? <laughs> I'm actually playing a, a, a Sorlock, so Hexblade, your kind of bloodline <laughs> sorcerer. So mm -hmm, my, uh, mm -hmm. my charisma and my Hexblade. Uh, combined are just absolutely stacked. <laughs> and you know, he's also going to Divine Smite. I have plus 11 with both of my uh, guns. Check so. Hmm. Gunslingers are obviously busted. Fucking badass. <laughs> you know, we get it. We get it. You're badass. He's going to drop a first level spell slot on this Divine Smite. With my puny plus 5. God. Oh, with an addition. I'm sorry. With additional eight, you see the brand hit the zombie and it it explodes in radiant light. And it is dead. For, for what it's worth, uh, Mythos, Athelstan also gets plus five and he's best boy, so there you go. All right. You're in good company. Iris, okay. you're up. Um... Okay, so I'm just... I'm gonna ask, is there anything I would instinctively do? Anything you would instinctively do? Mm-hmm. Based on, you know, things that have happened in the past. Well, spoilers. Um. Muscle memory and such. Oh, panic! <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, I'm like, damn. Were you here when my village was sacked the first? <laughs> roll, roll me a wisdom save. Okay. <laughs> Better than the first one? Flush. Much better than Bruce. my first roll. Bruce has the right idea. <laughs> oh, shush. Run uh, away! Wisdom. Okay, so that'd be dirty 20. Um, You feel a, almost like a slight panic attack coming on, but you're able to uh, you're able to get a hold of yourself. Um, and you know uh, magic works really well on these things. I don't know how, but magic is very effective, and I will, um, let's see, I suppose... Number six that... is probably looking pretty haggard right now. I mean, he probably is. Um, let me see, hold on. How far does this go? I need to measure something real quick. How dare you? Yeah, everyone else is out of my range. Okay, um... So what I'm gonna do, because uh, I know Cord's got my back, I will move and, and your will... nose and my nose. Um, I will move five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Let me see here. Should I? Am I in reach now? Shit, just barely out of reach. Nah, I can get the guy that's next to Zod. Um, I'm going to go ahead... Oh, I can get both of the guys that are, next, that are next to Zod. I will use Shatter at... I'll say, what? Fourth level? Actually, you know what? I haven't gotten to use this one yet. I want to use Raffle and Psychic Lance. <laughs> okay. That's uh, a was, single target, isn't it? Uh, let me see here. It's a range area. Let me see. Hold on. I'm double checking. One action, instantaneous. Uh, a creature that you can see within range. Yeah, okay. Single target. Fair. Yeah, all right. I, I guess I'll go for um, for shatter then. We'll go for shatter at third. No, we're gonna go all out. Uh, fifth level. <laughs> all right. Uh, so on four and five. Yes. Okay. All right. And what's the save on that? And the save on that is sixteen. Sixteen. What step? Con. Con. Uh, four fails. Five fails. Nifty. So okay. full damage on that. Oh. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, no, five d eight. Because I'm using it at fifth level. That will be. Uh, uh, <clears throat> biggest. Can you math for me? Uh, Maybe. 
eight plus six plus eight plus six plus two. Twenty eight thirty. Thirty. Yep. Thirty damage. Thirty damage. Um, Zod, you see as uh, the ground begins to quake and the air around these two zombies just <laughs> breaks, and you see them just like just fall to pieces. That's four, four, four and five are dead. Iris feels badass. <laughs> I'm about to say she feels bad. It's like, what? All right, is that your turn? No bonus action? Uh... I believe for a bonus action, you can particularly inspire somebody. I could. Let me see. What else can I do? Do I still have inspiration? Yes. Yeah, you still, yes, haven't, you still haven't used your inspiration. Which is very rare for me to give, so because I have a problem giving inspiration. <laughs> Which is not inspiring enough. <laughs> Want to... Ah, really? I mean, I suppose... I think you uh, still just mad at me for trying to banish the Kraken, personally. <laughs> it's like taking oh, it out as a fucking here. group, yeah. Uh, group punishment. You know what? Uh, the red guy, he seems to be, uh, he seems to be doing some good hacking and slashing. So, uh, I will yell over at him. How about you keep that up, big brute? I think we might get somewhere. And, uh, you get a d10. Zod is bardically inspired. <clears throat> All right. With that, it is now uh, number 12's turn, and it's going to... Uh, natural one on the first. Uh, 15 on the second. They're dead. Damn it. As this, uh, this villager is just like, No, please! And just gets his throat ripped out. <sighs> A welcoming, welcome home uh, party is getting smaller and smaller by the second. Next is number 14, and it's going to... Uh... And number 15 is going to attack this guy. With the over-under, he lives. Not good. <laughs> and this one uh, claws this one in the face and then just proceeds to just eat him oh and just, my <laughs> God. Uh, oh, he did he did I was sick of having a face anyway <laughs> I, I never liked him anyways <laughs> he, owed, he owed me money <laughs> um Number 16 is going to go this way. And it is now Saray's turn. And she is going to. Let's see, what's her name? I would assume 30. Yep. I don't think Battle Master is good anyhow. Zod, you hear a familiar voice just yell out, Zod! Do you look over That's in that direction? That's a teeny tiny princess. <laughs> she, she just smiles at you. Could you see you again? We'll see. <laughs> and... She is going to um, move her arm and then swing it out, and then you see green flame emit from her hand uh, to cover her sword. 
as she has now cast uh, Green Flame Blade. And she's going to take... Nice. Uh, and that's going to be her turn. She's not in range. So she Why did she... <laughs> Why would she cast Green Flame Blade? <laughs> well, you can activate it, right? Isn't that how the spell works? Well, no, I mean, you just... You, you cast the cantrip, and as part of the cantrip, you make the melee attack. So it's literally just, like, swing a sword and do fire damage. There's, there's no, like, concentration or, like, activation or anything. It's all one action. Oh, I was thinking of it. I was thinking of Shadow Blade. My bad. I thought it worked the same. Shadow Blade, you can just, you cast it as a bonus action, and then you can just have it. Mm-hmm. Because yeah, the Green Flame Blade is a cantrip, so it's, uh, one and done. Well, then, help us up, she didn't do it. Retcon, so <laughs> she's going to take thinking the thinking about doing it. She's going to take the dodge action instead. as she readies her sword. And now number 17 is going to move this way. 18 this way. 19 is going to attack Zod. Zod, how do you feel about fireballs? Oh, you'll find out how Zod feels about fireballs real soon. 22 to hit. Right, he has that sword. Uh, 20 points of slashing damage cut to 10. Second attack. 21 to hit. Mm Mm-hmm. 15 points of slashing damage cut to 8. Number 20 is going to also attack Zod. Uh, 20 to hit. Yep. Uh, 9 points of slashing damage cut to five. Mm-hmm. Uh, that one misses. This is a ten. And now uh, one, of the vill- one of the villagers gets up, number 21, and it just uh, 22 gets up. Uh, if he was prone, he only gets half movement. Yeah, that's why I'm not moving him that far. 23 gets up. 24 gets up. 25 gets up. All right. Back to the top of the order. Zod. Cord, you're on deck. I cast fireball right here. <laughs> it hits, should hit everything. This should hit 19, 20, 18, 16, 17, 22, and 23. Uh, it would, yes, 20 foot radius. Yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> All right, you got to make your own deck save. Mm hmm. Just like, like, fuck these things. <laughs> uh,. 16 succeeds, 17 even, fails. Do you even know what you're rolling for? What you need to beat? Uh, there was a 17 on the die. Oh. Well, fuck you. What's the DC again? 17. <laughs> um, so 17 fails, 18 fails, 19 fails, 20 succeeds. 22 succeeds. 23 fails. So only um, 20 and 22 succeed.
27. So 27 fire damage. And I succeeded my own dex check. I rolled a 19 on the die. Twice. Point four. We round up, so 14. Yep. No, we gotta keep track of decimals now. Damn you, Dewey. <laughs> Poor Dewey. The wrong kid died, Dewey. <laughs> <laughs> the smell blind, son. Alright, um, so as you unleash that fireball, the the fire leaves your vision and they're all just like Ugh. some are a little charred uh, oh how much Ooh. did he do 27 extra crispy damn yeah. ruh hmm I'm less uh. enthused now <laughs> uh bonus action second wind okay alright uh no movement because you don't want to trigger any opportunity attacks. What? What? Eleven. I heal eleven. Unless mm-hmm. you do want to move. Mm-hmm. I think I want to action surge actually. All right, go for it. Zod Angi. <laughs> yeah, action surge and take a disengage if you want to get away. Why would I do that when I can just? Shoot kill off another right spell. <laughs> <laughs> Do that when he can kill everything. I have another spell loaded in this sword. I will fire off a lightning bolt this way. Because it will... It hits all of them because it's five feet. Or... Yeah, it should. Theoretically, right? Yeah, I'll allow it. Or at least most of them, maybe eighteen, gets to get away for free. But yeah, I'll allow I'll allow twenty and nineteen since they're like directly next to you. Uh, sixteen and seventeen, so that's four deck saves. Fail on uh, nineteen. Fail on twenty. Fail on sixteen. Success on seventeen. Eleven. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Zod is so disgusting with damage. I love him. Twenty-seven. Hey. The lightning damage. I know, right? (laughs) So. Nineteen dies, twenty dies. Sixteen dies. And seventeen dies. As you fire off the lightning bolt, they just, uh... They just disintegrate. Just I'll put him in the bin. What? What can we say? You know, Neil before Zod. Mm-hmm. Just that's more like it. I mean, <laughs> she's the Cordovan Platinum and pulls out the dual blade katana. All right, Cord, you're up. <clears throat> would would Saray being in my way? Uh, qualify as use for sneak attack. No. She is not uh, completely engaged with it, so she's not within five mm-hmm. feet of number six. So no sneak attack. Uh, oh, that's ten. So can I feline agility in front of her? You can move in front of her if you'd like. I think you just yeah, have the uh, movement too. Um... I don't know. Oh, I, I don't think I can use feel on uh, uh, feel on oh, no, is your good. is your is passive that just increases yep. your movement speed. Yeah. Uh, so. Is that, is that, is that, is that, is that, oh, it's a. Uh, Play five anyway. All right. Um. So I will. Uh. 
move in front of Saray uh, okay. and attack number six with the. Uh... No, not that. Come. Thank you. Uh, with the uh, crystal scimitar. Crystal scimitar. Okay. Well, now that you I... have the moon touched back, does Cord dual wield? I do not. Cord uh, doesn't have the dual wielder feet. I mean, he can still take weapon <clears throat> fighting. True. Twelve. Twelve. I'm using luck. Twelve with your plus nine. Oof. Yep. Twenty-one. Twenty-one hits. Listen, I watched someone burn all of their luck points and miss. So four rolls, and they were all bad. <laughs> that wasn't me. Uh, I'm here. You can just say me. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's uh, no, I'm pretty sure Iris has done that too. <laughs> six. I think we both have. Six slashing and how much uh, radiant? Uh, t- uh, uh, ten, and I have to roll a uh, 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 d3 right for that. For radiant, it's d8. Um, it's d8. What? Okay, that's where it is, because I'm thinking of the charges, not the radiant. Okay. No, well, no, well, let me roll like that. Okay. Two. Two? So, three. Uh, no, wait, uh, the plus, yeah, it's two. Yep. Two points radiant damage. Live by the D8, die by the D8. But that's, um... That does, um... Create a, uh... There's a light coming from the, uh... Crystal Scimitar, uh... Do anything to these zombies? Uh, that's, it's just light. That's not, it's just light. It's not a shield. It's not like protective or anything. No, not like a protective shield or anything. It's just okay. bright light. Uh, I don't know if they you, have. All right. But as you slash it with the crystal scimitar, it. I know vampires <laughs> radiant damage has an extra effect on, but that's the only thing I can think of. <sighs> all right. I'm it is. And is that your turn, Cord? Uh, yes. Yes. All right, Bane, you're up. Alrighty. Um. Sorry. Also, when you move in front cord and you slash it, Sorry's just like, "Oh, thank you, cord." You're welcome. Uh, I'm gonna fire on. Is that twenty-four? Yes, twenty-four. The one that's near the last villager. Yes. All right. We might actually save a villager. You'll need to yeah. move up one. And by we, I mean you. Really gonna do my damage too? I've been plotting. I'll it need to move time. up one. Yeah, I already moved you up one. Yeah. How? I was 60 feet away. Well, yes, but Sebastian is directly in your line of sight. Wait, maybe. Hold on. Uh, technically, no. Oh, yeah. No, never mind. Uh, You're correct. Like... You're correct. I just want to move um, you closer. No, we're good. <laughs> I'll, I'll stay where I am. Uh, that was a nat 20, so 31 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Cool. You don't even have to do math. If you roll a 20, it just hits. Um, and is that a crit so I do double the dice? Yes. The right. damage dice, yeah. Do I roll twice or do I just double what I roll? Just roll roll the dice and then double it. Yes. 
So. I think homebrew, we don't roll ones on crits. Yeah, no ones on crits. So overall, that's 15 damage for that shot. Um, now I'm going to shoot with my revolver. That one was a... Oh, come on, maths. Don't fail me now. That one was a 19 to hit. 19 hits. Yep. Um, that's 12 damage. Um, can I bonus action and then action surge? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to bonus action reload and then I'm going to action surge. Okay. Exactly what I did, basically. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to go again. Um, <laughs> oh, shit, another nat 20. Let's go. Let's go. Not even using grip points. Who needs grip points? Wow. Wait, don't you get grip points back when you crit? Yeah, but she hasn't used any. <laughs> oh, shit, I keep forgetting I have those. Fuck. And you also have sharpshooter. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, a sharpshooter crit? Oh god. Can, can I use that sharpshooter? You use it, you have to, to call, call it before the roll. Okay, yeah. yeah. Alright. Even so. Um, that's. Uh, 10 plus. 25 damage for that one. All right, for this one, you get two shots in the chest, and the last one goes in the head, and the head just pfft, explodes. Ew. And it is gone. Um, all right, in that case, I'm going to then shoot number 12 with my remaining shot. Okay. Did you want a grip point, sharpshooter? You know what? Yeah, we'll give it a go. All right, let's, let's point, see if we can. Grip point, dead eye, sharpshooter is the is the strat. Because then you get advantage, and then so it makes it easier to hit with that extra plus ten damage. Where's the um? So grip points should be in your features and traits. I can't see them. I don't know if I'm being... Oh, wait. Is that the grip point underneath Adept Marksman? Yes. Beautiful. All right. No, it's the other grip point. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> <Lock> my deck. <laughs> yeah, it's the one that's on the back of my sheet. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's another nat 20. Let's go. You get that It's like her point dick back. or the grip point. Okay. You okay, so how point. much am I adding to this thing? So this is, uh, is this a shot with a revolver? Yes. Okay, so roll your revolver damage, which is 2d8 plus 5. So what did you roll on the dice? A 7 and an 8. Okay, so Jesus. 15 times 2 right. is 30, uh, plus 5, 35, plus 10, 45. Bye-bye. <laughs> I think it's just a number twelve, just cloud of mist. Yeah, and it bolted just, him like a table. Like, like they just got hit with a fucking needler in Halo. <laughs> Ear the pink mist. Yep. I really the, like my new die. The best, the best. Yeah, yeah, I really like bless, you, Jesus. It's bless him for that new die. Yeah, did you load that thing? Like, yeah. <laughs> it's just all the fucking numbers on each side. It's just twenty on every single side. Yeah. It, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> it's really um, awesome it, huh? because when I roll a nat twenty, it literally says "fuck you." Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. That's what she. That's that's what she's got carved into the bullet that she's sending their way. To. <laughs> yeah. Did you get them made custom with a little lead weight on the inside? Yeah. <laughs> I wish. It's like coincidentally, they can also be used as bullets. <laughs> All right. Um, 
and I believe that's Bane's turn if you want to move at all. Oh, good morning! <laughs> you know, the best the best part is, I imagine all these crazy good rolls, and Bane's still there not looking like, ah! <laughs> She's just, like, firing like this. Just, uh, just And just hitting and annihilating everything. That's the best uh, part. you're up. Okay. She's got blind sight. <laughs> yeah. Athelstan, you're on deck. And then it's after that is Sigib. Okay. Did you get that, Athelstan? You're on deck. Ruff, ruff, ruff. <laughs> okay, Reggie. Okay, Reggie. <laughs> He's also loading up his pistols. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've been playing a lot of Metal Gear Solid 5 again lately. You should just, like, yeah, do a dog treatment and give, give him a knife. Stranger things have happened. Oh, dude, that's right. He, like, holds that shit in his mouth, doesn't he? Oh, I love that. Dog. Yeah, he gets a knife that he can just like draw out, and you can just have him sneak up behind people and slit their throats. It's great. Love, love you, dog. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're gonna move up there. There's nothing obstructing this, right? Like I can easily shoot over that for. Oh, that's the villager. No, I don't want to do that. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you haven't turned into a zombie yet. Ooh, I saved him yeah. just to oh, kill him. Shit, we can't chance it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay. Just, uh, like, look, he was like, totally infected in a regular bison. I saw a bite on him. It was like a hickey. <laughs> didn't chance it. All right. Um, look, if he didn't pick up something from the zombies, he probably picked up something from the whorehouse. Just... <laughs> that's, Suzanne put him down. Over. Yeah. that's Susanna over there. I'm telling you. No, what? Anyways. Um, all right. So we're going to go for number 14 there. She made fun of me as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> 368 years ago. <laughs> It was my fucking hickey 300 years ago. <laughs> All right, let's see. You stole my sweet roll, you son of a bitch. <laughs> That's what they actually call their crushes in this village. <laughs> my sweet roll. All right, so that is... Towards... Oh, I thought you meant son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's uh, Dirty 20. Uh, uh, yep. 14. On uh, number 14. Yes, sir. And that is... Let's see if I can figure out which... I'm just rolling d10s over here. Sorry. Um, Classic. Yep. Uh, that is 12. All right. 12 as um, another arrow is loosed and it just right in the mouth just oh, and it fucking dies. No, no. And then gonna gonna go ahead and try and hit twenty five out there too. Hold at it. All right. Uh, sixteen. Nope. Nineteen. Sorry. Nineteen hits. That is eleven. Eleven damage. You embed this one like right in the shoulder and it just. And Athelstan's turn. Right. Athelstan is going to push this out. He can make he can make that easily to twenty five, right? Hell, he could go for the other one back here if he really wanted to. Nope, that's fifty five. He gets he gets fifty feet. So. Yeah, no, I don't think he can make it to fifteen. Yeah, he's gonna go ahead and just pose the on. He can just barely make 25. it to fifteen if you move him on the can right he? diagonals. Yeah. Okay, what's the right what's the right diagonals? Does that count? <laughs> I mean, just move him down diagonal until he's level with 15 and move him over and he'll be right next to it. Yeah, so he'd end up right here. Because that's exactly 10 squares. Oh, well, there you go. He's going to sick balls on 15. Um, that is... Uh, that is... That is 15, go figure. 15 to hit? Yeah. 15 misses. Shit. All right. Sorry, boy. Our tactics. Yeah. All right. Is that Athelson's turn? Uh, yeah. Sig, you're up. Okay. Doing a little bit of measuring.
I head to mom for a second. Why are we all quiet? I'm, I'm doing some measuring. Oh, okay. Some like elevator music in the background for this. I mean, the probably is we just can't hear it. I can imagine what the music is I hear in the studio all the time. Okay, so uh, the best I'm gonna be able to do is to uh, cast another fireball here, uh, and that will get one, three, two, twenty-three, and it should also get twenty, but it will it will miss Zod. Actually, shit, that, that might hit Zod. Um, move it a square up, that way it'll miss Zod, but still catch all the others. Uh, uh, so you'll be hitting 1, 3, 2, 23, 22, and 21. Yeah, I'm casting the fireball right under 3, basically. Um, that will that will miss 21, actually. 21 is just out of range. Okay, so 1, 3, 2, uh, 23, 22. Yep. yep, make me deck saves, DC is 17. 1 succeeds. I'm going to quicken this as well. Three fails. Two fails. 23 succeeds. 22 succeeds. I rolled two natural 20s in a row. Well, stop that. Not allowed. So one, 23, and 22 succeed. So three and two. Uh, everyone who fails takes 39 damage. Everyone who succeeded takes half. Draconic bloodline, baby. And that's not that's not nearly as busted as the Phoenix Sorcerer that never got released was. That shit was crazy. Well, see, I have the elemental lit up so I can add plus five to because that's my uh, charisma uh, mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. one damage roll of a spell. So when it's a single damage roll like fireball, it's great. Uh, but if it's something like scorching ray, you can only add it to one of them. But yeah, if I so could add it to every single damage roll, that, that's Scorching what made Phoenix, Ray would be fucking That's what evil. made the Phoenix Sorcerer <laughs> insane, is you could add it to every single... It just it, All it cared about is that it was fire damage. It didn't care how. So Scorching Ray just became your DPS, and you just became a machine gun of fire. Alright, so... 22... 23... 2... And 3 are just incinerated. So I'm going to use my 30 feet to blink next to six because I'll use that astral shard ability. Uh, and I can still use a cantrip, so I am going to green flame blade this guy. Uh, with my new longsword. <laughs> All right. Oh, that is a 19 for a total of 28. No that close, hits. but I assume that hits. Can't let uh, anyone else get here. He's going to take just 10 raw slashing damage from the long sword. Then the green flame blade is going to be... Uh, I 1d8 plus 5, so 8 more fire damage because I'm adding the plus 5 to this damage roll of the spell. So you, uh, you slice through and this zombie just bisects. Ow! And it is Dedo. Wasn't it already Dedo? It's more dead. It's dead more Dedo. Dead again. Dead, dead again. Oh. It is re dead, so to speak. Uh, 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 I can just hear well, them. Nintendo probably doesn't like us enough already. Okay. I just, <laughs> they're gonna I'm send. A, they're gonna send a re dead over to the studio. <laughs> That's right. So now it is number one's turn. I did not expect to kill that cord. I was <laughs> hoping to give you sneak attack with that. I'm now in two pieces, so. <laughs> and that is number one's turn. It is now Sebastian's turn, who is going to rush up. Oh, yeah. Gotta save at least one of them. And... He'll just uh, fire off his hallowed chamber again. Uh, he's going to go for 25. That's caught. Uh, that is a 
27 to hit on the first. And a 13 on the second, so that one is a miss. So, but he will Divine Smite with this. So that's 14 Force Damage plus Divine Smite. He'll use uh, First Level Spell Slot. Wow. That's a low roll. But that's okay. Because... It can't uh, all be winners. Yeah. One of the... Um, so what are those smash? So one of the beams hits directly on the zombie's face, and uh, a, the brand of Dia uh, shows up on the face, and then splats its head, and it is dead. And as a bonus action. <laughs> He'll look cool. Actually, I was gonna say he just needs to stand and look pretty. He is very Actually, good at looking cool. He will. Yeah. Let's see. Is he within proper range for this? Yes. Uh, he will cast Shield of Faith on Athelstan. Oh. So Athelstan oh, gets uh, plus two bonus to his AC. Uh, Iris, you're up. All right, uh, those two, those three, I should say, have those two. Sebastian, Athelstan, and Region got what's going on below. Uh, I will. Let's see. Now you can use your psychic lance uh, if you want on 15, number 18. 20, 25. Can I be extra and just hop onto this little like ledge right here? <laughs> sure. Cool. Just... I just want to be a difficult extra. terrain and mid, mid battle parkour. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, I'll use a Rathlim psychic glance. Let's do. Um, I want to save one fifth level. We'll do it at fourth level. On number eighteen. Yeah, on eighteen. And what's the save on that? Uh, it, sixteen intelligence. It absolute fail. <laughs> 76 psychic damage. So four, five. Do I seriously not have enough d6s? Oh no, I do. Okay, good. Whenever I cast fireball, I always roll it in DD Beyond because it's just too many d6s. <laughs> okay, so two, four, eight, thirteen, eighteen uh, total. Eighteen on eighteen. Yeah, conveniently. <laughs> and uh. This uh, shroud of pink energy forms a lance, and it stabs right into the zombie's head, and just and it falls to the ground dead. Uh, as my bonus action, because I had uh, drawn my rapier before battle had started last session, uh, I'll look at Zod and uh, playfully point at the other two <laughs> over to the left of me. <laughs> That's some more for you over there. And that'll be my turn. Alrighty. Uh, next is number 15, and it is going to attack Athelstan. Uh, I don't think a 9 hits. Nope. Does a 21 hit? Uh, it does not. Oh, yes, it does. Sorry. Sorry. It just does. Uh, so what's his, what's his AC normally? Uh, 19. It yeah, still it, ju it yeah. just hits with even just with plus hits. two. Yeah. Damn. Boy. Uh, 11 points of slashing damage as it claws uh, right at his face. Oh, shit. I just realized that he was supposed to be at full health, too. Whoops. Okay. Well, now he's at full health. Sans 11. Mm -hmm. Minus 11. Yep. All right. Up next is Saray. 
and she is going to move right here. Then she is going to cast Burning Hands. Within a 15 foot cone, that should hit. Jamming for one and 21? Yes. Yeah. One fails. 21 fails. A fucking metal one? I heard that. Uh, yeah, it's a hollow metal one. Damn. So they take 16 fire damage. Uh... Number one just melts. I can appreciate it. She really is. She really is meant to be with you. Yeah, no shit. And um, as a bonus action, she is going to use uh, one of her superiority dice, and she is. Because she's use... better than you. Oh, never mind. She can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> she, didn't take the, uh, she didn't take the attack action. She um, cast the spell. Yeah. So instead, she's going to action surge. Let's go! Then take the attack action. And then exactly. she's going to run up, take the attack action on this thing. Jeez. Then superiority die just to style on this guy. Uh, 26 to hit. She's going to dab on him. God. <laughs> I was literally about to say that. Fuck. Uh, seven points of slashing. Swing the sword. Swing the sword and finish with that. Second attack. Hits. Seven more points of slashing. And then going to use a superiority die for her bonus action. And... Oh, wait, never mind. Scratch that last attack, because I wanted to do something specific with it, so she didn't do an extra seven. Uh, she's going to forgo one of her attacks. Um, and use Commander's Strike. Um, and she is going to... Uh, tell Sigib to make an attack on him using your reaction. Yeah, it did disappear for a second. Uh-oh. Biggies! Sonny, get your ass back here. Haha, -ha, it worked. <laughs> so she's going to use her commander's strike uh, to command Sigib to make an attack using his reaction. Oh, okay. Uh, well, an attack, yeah. do I specifically have to take the attack action? Sure. Or? Oh, weapon, it's a weapon attack with your reaction. Awesome. So for do I flavor, get to use my movement? For flavor, I'll allow you to use your movement. All in the hips. Oh, I bless you, can't say, but yeah. Oh, I will move up here, I suppose, and it has to just be a, a weapon straight attack. attack so, yeah. uh, can't green flame blade him, so I will just have to hit him with my long sword. Twenty-two hits, I assume. Yes. Uh, and he's going to take ten slashing damage. And then you add. Um... 10 more to it, because I just rolled a 10 on my superiority die. So he's going to take 20 slashing damage, and I assume that's probably enough to take his head off. Yep. You <laughs> both just... Just together uh, cut this zombie's head off. As a flavor action, can I clap from where I am? <laughs> <laughs> sure. 
clapping is definitely a free action. All right, Zod, back to the top of the order. Off. You're up. There's only one left. Uh, well, I gotta go kill it then. <laughs> no. All the way down Please, here. I don't know if you have yeah. that movement. Uh, Twenty-one is still on the board. I can, I can oh, move there. Oh no, twenty-one is supposed to be dead. Kill it. Uh, I can um, move there, and then I can just throw my sword. Oh yes, that's right. So break off a chunk of the fountain and throw it in. <clears throat> hit him with another zombie. <laughs> You ever hit a motherfucker with another motherfucker? <laughs> Did that come with an improvised weapon attack? You ever Mom, snatch a motherfucker no, birthday it... and then throw that motherfucker and snatch another motherfucker birthday? <laughs> Damn it, Steve, I forgot get out of here. Nobody Does a... You. Sorry, Rico. Uh, 21, that hits. Yeah, that hits. Nope, that one jumped out. 7, 11, 13, force damage. Alright, 13 points of force. Your second attack. With what? <laughs> oh, I thought it just teleports back to you. Or is that it's at, at the, the end of your turn? It's at the end of the turn. Ah, oh, that's right. I was hoping it would just die. No, this one hadn't taken any damage. Wow. I was hoping it would just die. Yeah. <laughs> or it's so easy. Um, so yeah, you throw your sword at it and it just embeds into it, just... Unfortunate. <laughs> Is that your turn? Uh, pretty much, yeah. Alright, Cord, you're up. Uh, can I even move in range? I don't think I could get that in. You can cutting action dash. Uh, or crossbow him. Uh, and crossbow. Is he, is he oh, that's what I was gonna say. Crossbow, is he, is, he three, is he 320? Would the fountain give him enough cover for... I mean, he could easily he said move it was high. I was gonna down. say, you can move to where you would get 300. Yeah, I mean he can, and he can move around the fountain with the cutting action yeah. dash. Just, uh, I guess, yeah, move, move. Uh, so you can I get, get to. you can get. Okay, what's your movement speed again? Uh, oh, come on, what? Was it thirty feet? Thirty feet. So you can get to like right here, or even like over here, and then you could just crossbow him from there. And okay, double get, set get, shit. And you would get a uh, sneak attack um, because Apple stands right next to him. Okay, mm. we'll moving next to Apple, please. I didn't remember that. Did yeah. that? That's awesome. Yeah. Screw hiding behind the fountain, then. <laughs> All right, you have advantage. Oh God, fourteen, but I roll again. All right, so let's. And you can always use luck. So, oh. reroll one of them. Uh, advantage you, you get, picks the I'm higher. Using luck. I'm using luck on that one. Oh, come on! <laughs> Any more luck points? <laughs> I, think I, have, I think I have one more. Yeah, you should have three total. Yeah, okay. Last one. Oh, for oh the love of God. God. <laughs> Jesus. Fuck it. I'm just going to sit down and throw a tantrum. I just, I just, <laughs> love, I, I love the idea of Cord going all the way over there. Just, ah, fuck. For the love of, ah, fuck. So as you, uh, the... as you attempt to shoot, you just, you whiz right past it. Hey. Hey, it's pretty common among tabaxi. All right? <laughs> One in four. Look it up. Bonus <laughs> right. action line. <laughs> no, I'll let that be a free action. Look it up. Um, all right, Bane, you're up. Fuck yeah. <laughs> um... Uh, 
Haregi on your on deck. I don't think I'll need it, but thank you. Haregi. Well, What's your range if... on those pistols? I think her furthest range is... Revolver's furthest range is 120. Yeah. Oh, okay. 40 slash 120, so... Maybe. The pistol's only 30, 90. I'm gonna move here. I'm gonna bonus action reload and then uh wait do i have a clear shot from there uh no, no you'll be shooting sebastian god damn it sebastian move your pretty head <laughs> um, 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 um i think if you move one know. square down you'll have a clear shot looks like yeah you'll have a clear shot one square down With both your pistols, too, so. Because you'd be yeah. shooting over Athelstan. Yeah, I moved closer so that I could use both. Um, alright. I'm gonna try using Vicious Pistol first. Great point, sharpshooter? Um, yes. I'm gonna grip point. <laughs> uh, so that's a... Wait. How much do I take off with sharpshooter? Well, if you're grip pointing, you have. Oh yeah, that's right. It's still the five. Yeah, you take off five. Just five minus five. Yeah. So you're only adding a plus six. You still have inspiration. And you still have inspiration. Um. So twenty three. Twenty three hits. Who am I kidding? Her presence is inspiring enough, apparently. Yeah, sure. Full damage, 15. Plus 10. Look, no zombie Plus gets to 10, so 25. Uh, main, go ahead and call dead. it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just gonna hit him straight between the eyes. As the bullet shoots out from the pistol, it rockets past Oregion and Sebastian right over Athelstan and right between the eyes of this zombie and it just and it just hits the ground dead how are those goblins doing with the others the goblins are just are pretty much piling on the other zombies and they're just like I would okay so we don't need to worry about those zombies I would just like to say that uh Bane is once again proven to be the main protagonist, and we're all the support. <laughs> Shit. I think I killed the most. She does more okay, damage listen, to individual listen. targets. I do she more damage gets, to multiple targets. She gets targets. flare, though. She gets added flare. Look, Saray, Saray and Sigib are right there, and Iris just sits down on the rim of the fountain and goes, Now kiss! <laughs> <laughs> Saray just blushes a little. You have to pay extra for that, uh, Nightingale. Oh, Aragion hears that and he kind of motions towards Sebastian. Just doesn't do it. Walk over to Sebastian and put, put a little peck on his cheek. I'm gonna go check on that villager. Oh, thank you. And I will check with Sari just to make sure she's okay, because it... I know she has a mark, and I've never known her to be a magic user before. So, uh, you see uh, <laughs> her side begin to bleed. Oof. I guess I will call Nightingale over. Oh, what's going on? I'm I'm Can fine. You truly, it's okay. Heal this? Uh, I can try. I'll use healing, uh, healing hands on her, just like a small little spell to try to give her ten hit points. Uh, it doesn't really, like, it gives the same effect as a as a dragon mark. So you know the bleed doesn't stop. So I try to heal it and realize it's not healing. I didn't know that she had a mark, so I get a look on my face and look at Sigib. I'm not able to heal this. I guess I'll, Which... I'll ask her now because I haven't yet, so... Do you mind telling me where you got this mark from? Who it belongs to? Um... Uh... Well... Uh, Zod, at this point, you see that you see them crowding the princess, and you kind of you know what she she had gone through. 
Um, and she just kind of like, well, it's uh, oh Zod, uh, it's good to good to see you again. She's good at this, this deflection thing. Yeah. What are you doing hanging around with uh, these people? Oh, well, this is the uh, the crew of the Courage, the pirate ship. Pirate ship? You? There's no pirates around here. They... There's not even any water. Well, they normally Terrible, sail, around, sail around Althea, but uh, they've uh, come here to uh, to visit and take care of something in regards to um, uh, Genesis. Take care of something in regards to Genesis. Mm-hmm. I assume you must be the one that killed Rykon, so. Yeah, once or twice. He didn't do a very good job of it. Apparently he's still alive. That's why I said twice. So we, we only know that he killed him the once in the uh in Cordova, right? Yeah. Did you go after him again? No, but I had to uncheck that box. But he's on my list again. Huh? He's on mine too. Good, he's an asshole. Uh, Zod it's just... is also one of the uh, one of the heroes who defeated Sanix. Yeah, quite the uh, quite the colorful group of comrades you must have had in that fight. See the hobgoblin, Leonin, Brick. <laughs> Brick. <laughs> <laughs> the faux hammer and a princess. <laughs> yeah? And who are you? Why do you know so much about us? People won't things. shut up about you. And? That's probably why we would know something. You know, people say things, you internalize it, you know. Like how people do things. It's probably from the broker. That's most likely oh. how the word travels round. Oh, him. He's on our shit list, too. What are you doing around here, Zod, was it? Well, if you really want to know... Kind of like this village. Kind of want it. <laughs> want it as in purchase? I don't think this is a place for purchase. When's the last time a goblin's ever bought anything? I don't know. I've never met any goblins before. How there aren't very many in Althea. Zod is short. Yeah, he's he's short. He's but, short, but, but he's built like a rich Specifically, how tall? Yeah, well, how, here how we, tall? Here we here we here we here we come with the short like, jokes. He's like five five. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh so, Irish so is me and him are like eye to eye level. Well, there goes all my short jokes. Never mind. Yep. yep. <laughs> and what's this Genesis thing? We've killed a uh, a few uh, friends of his, and we're looking to do a little bit more damage. Mm -hmm. I don't really like Genesis either. Do you have a plan, or do you know what you have to do next? We're seeking out somebody in Auckland who knows more information. It's 
Todd, you know Auckland to be the city of the dead. There's yeah. pretty much nobody living there. You, uh... You guys know what Auckland is, right? I hope. Unfortunately. So, whom do you seek at Auckland? We are not Apparently entirely the sure yet. There. Going to the city of the dead to speak to who the fuck knows. That's what you do when yeah. the gods tell you to go somewhere, generally. Yeah, well. I have some strong opinions about your gods. Do I know who the hobgoblins would? Like, do they have, like, a patron god, or, like... They they have one that they believe uh, is uh, is who they serve. But is it really... part of the regular pantheon? No. Okay. So. Oh well. And sorry, where where are we now? Currently, you said uh, Medora, right? Yeah, you guys are in Medora. Right next to your old stomping grounds, which was Medania Hills, so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well. Probably. Should probably travel with you, at least for a bit. All the goblins in this area are under my command. But they're fucking idiots, though, so they'll attack you regardless of what I say. Unless I'm there. So... That's wonderful. Well, thank you for your gracious guidance. You can trust Saad. I trust him wholeheartedly. Is Zod still red? Like, is that just Zod's normal yep. color? Yep, Zod's oh, normal yeah, color. Yeah. He gets pissed yeah, when... and turns red. <laughs> just gets even no, more when he, red. When he rages, yeah, he gets more red. It's like a, it becomes like a darker, deeper red <laughs> than his normal red. Yeah. Like maroon? Uh, oh, like crimson. more like more like, like, blood like a blood. dark blood color. Yeah. Crimson. Crimson. Yeah. Crimson's still pretty bright though, to be fair. Well, yeah, more like like it's like not like crimson, like like the brightness of crimson, but like if you just turn the brightness shader really darn down low, it's almost like dry blood that. color. Oh, okay. Nice. So we would have seen him go from like dread blood to, to red. more vibrant red mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. all due respect princess we don't need to trust him but our uh, interests seem to align at least a little bit so works out uh, Zod you notice that she's still holding her side and it's uh, bleeding still relying on the power of somebody else I see I try not to. Don't we all? But not everyone can be me. What can I say? Still believe you're immortal. Always have been. Always will be. Immortal? How do you do that? Immortal? That is a testable hypothesis. <laughs> I've died once or twice. Oh, really? How'd you come back? Sheer force of will. <laughs> Damn. He just made good. From the look of you, I'd believe it. I've died too. It was quite interesting. <laughs> Same. Just everyone who has died raise their hands. <laughs> I don't know if you can count the curse that Oscar put on me as dying, but kind of. Excuse me? I'm Oscar. sorry, what? <laughs> you were just sleeping. I assume. I don't know. Yeah, there was a problem. Sanix had embodied, or had possessed me, and so Oscar put me to sleep. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Does, does the that. king know about this? He's kind of an asshole. Austin? No, mm -hmm. I, I don't think so. That would explain why he left Cordova with his head still on his shoulders. Unless, I, mean, I, I, I don't know, did Oscar actually say it to the king? 
Uh, I'm pretty sure that we kept it under wraps specifically. Specifically so Oscar could live. I don't know if he ever found out. And it's like, you know, it was like, all's well that ends well. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, nothing bad happened, even though it definitely could have, so... So we're fine. <laughs> Bane's going to have been inspecting Zod this whole time and just kind of like seem to have made up her mind. She just nods and goes, well, I like his skin, so he's in. I realize you were so superficial, Bane. <laughs> Primary <laughs> colors unite. Yes. To the primary find colors. A, I'm not just find a green companion and we'll be set. Mm. Yay! Yeah, because <laughs> because uh, Bane's skin is blue. You haven't seen a blue-skinned uh, elf before, Zod. I'm also. Yeah, and I, I guess Zod would probably realize short at this point. For an elf. I'm human. But they have blue ones. Nightingale's wearing a mask, so you can't really tell. <laughs> and Ford a is a tabaxi, and a Region is a wood elf. Mm-hmm. And there's another human there. Uh, oh, yeah. Hello, uh, my name is uh, Sebastian Marquis de la Vea. It's very nice to meet you. We'll see. <laughs> okay. Good to know. Is Regan still talking to that villager? I'm just checking in with everyone. I'm not having any part in this. I'm making sure who's dead. Who's dead? I mean, at this point, alive. I'll ask him. like, Captain, have you? I'm glad you, you guys anything? are satisfied with the skin color, but I'm like fucking trying to like, make sure everyone else is okay. Um, um, Nightingale, Sebastian, if there's any wounded, I suppose the two of you can tend to them. Oh yes, of course. Uh, come on, Sebastian. Let's go make sure we heal people. Uh, yes, of course. Zod, do you know how these things showed up here? Or were you just passing by? If I knew, they would work for me, but I do not. So, you just happen to be passing by with a uh, with a uh, small. Happen to be passing by know, with a small battalion army of, of, goblins? of goblins. Yeah. <laughs> you can think of it that way. Sure. Let's uh -huh. just say I've changed my mind, and. Everyone in this village should be happy that that happened. What, so now this village is too good for you? Cord, don't encourage him. <laughs> I thought there was an understanding with the, uh, with the king that he would uh, allow your rating to go so long as you didn't mess with Cordovan, the citizenry, or any of their caravans passing through. You've decided... You were just going to what install yourself as leader of a town under the protection of Cordova? Well, not yet. But I do the like The king did tell us he was sending soldiers here as well. We just are the ones that got teleported ahead of time, right? Yeah. There is like a detachment of the Cordovan army on their way. I feel like yeah. Oregon's catching all this as he's pulling the arrow out of the fountain. <laughs> Taking over my village. Nice. Well, Captain, did you learn anything from any of the uh, any of the townsfolk? Most of them were uh, barricaded inside their homes. You just, about, got the, you just got the one that was still outside back into their homes. Do we do we know roughly how much of the population survived? Um, from what the, from what the one villager told you, uh, that there was only a few of these creatures that started, and uh, the rest are just citizens. Added to their numbers, yeah. Yes. Okay. So they roughly lost about a couple dozen. A couple dozen, upwards of fifty. Okay. So, yeah, the rest just barricaded in. Worse. I got the one. Yeah. Would have been much worse. Would have been much worse. Do you know who sent the uh, the message to the king? Who's in charge here? They're a mayor? Do they have a mayor here in Medora? I know you haven't been here in you know, upwards of 100 would they, years. But... Would they have something like that? Would they have changed the like, politics like... of the village? Or is there uh, such a thing? Like I, mean, I mean, it's its own nation now, right? So they got to have like some kind of... Well, an autonomous collective. Yeah. 
I guess is Madora technically part of Andorra? Like if the if Andorra like, is was more under the um Or not Andorra of Arbora. Arbora. Oh, Arbora, no. no. Yeah. Um Oh, so they're not even part of that. Part okay. of part of who is, you know what they what they currently since they couldn't they didn't have a new Margrave, um Carca the Count of Carcassa uh took over um overseeing of this land specifically. So it would have been the Count that would have sent the message. Or at least somebody who works for the Count. Okay. Well. And that's that's like nothing new. That's the way it has been. Uh, that's, that, yeah, that, that's, that's not the way it has been. That's, that's new. Okay. That I is guess new. previously okay. Andorra would have overseen the area. Yeah. Andorra, the Margrave, but he's yeah. gone. So. It would have been, it would have been divided duties between the Count and the Margrave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, um, <laughs> but now it's solely, uh, the Count's, uh, job. What was your initial I guess, I guess we wouldn't exactly sir? know that at the moment. Just, yeah, what was, I mean, do yeah. you know, like, Who's in charge here? Do they have a mayor? Would I don't, okay? I don't well, know. I'll just like, I'll is there, is there the a first, city hall? Do they have like some kind of citadel? Like the, where? The, the first person I see like poking their head out the door, I'll signal them over and, and ask them just that. All who's right, who's they, in uh, charge right here? Spend some time. Um, well, normally uh, we are overseen by uh, the Count of Carcassa. Um, with, uh, with the Margrave being gone, uh, the Count has uh, taken the uh, position of overseeing the town, though we haven't seen him in days. Who is installed to lead here? Is, that, um, it would be, is there a is there a governor or some, you know, captain that's installed here? It would be one of the Count's uh, captains. Uh, his name is... Um, some kind of garrison that wasn't burned down this time? His name is Sherrod. Sherrod. Where is he? Um, well, we haven't we haven't seen him. I think uh, that he may have been killed in the onslaught. Ah, oh, well. Who does command fall to after him? Uh, we don't know. We, Sherrod's the only one we speak to. There's a detachment of the Cordovan army on their way. Do, do we know how long it would take for them to get here? Did Aldrin tell us that, or would we just have like a best uh, guess? It would take them about two days. It would take them two days to get here. Or about two days. They should be here in a couple of days. I assume we can... We'll hand command over to whoever's in charge of that or in charge of that battalion. Keep it under. Next in line, though. Keep Some the military here in recognize. case in case more of them decide to come back. Yeah. Or more zombies decide to appear. Captain? Yes? Uh, we didn't lose anyone that you knew, did we? I'll look around at the zombie bodies. Do we need to arrange As you look around or? to the zombie bodies, they turn into black sludge and they Ugh. they start it starts like sliding away. Um... Would um, it, oh, that's disgusting. Would it be in what direction? Um, yeah, I was gonna say it, it, it's pulling off uh, towards uh, north of the square. Would it be metagaming if Iris ran in that direction? No, you'd be following it, so it wouldn't be metagaming. Okay, I was gonna uh, say who's close? You have seen Papa, these things yeah. before. I, yeah, that, I don't I'm, know. I'm, that's concerning. I don't know. All I know is that's important, and I start running after it. Right, who's ready for round two? Ben reluctantly how many, follows. How, how many how many goblins do I have here? Uh, you have roughly fifty. Okay, I will. Um, I'm gonna start barking orders at them in goblin. Um, just tell them to uh, to this town where they'll stay in for two days until the Cordovans get here. You know, keep the zombies out, but. Dip, leave before the 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 Cordovan army gets here. I don't need to deal with the, the headache of them plus you, because you fucking idiot goblins will definitely try to fight some, start something. Uh, they're just like, 
they like just grumble, uh, reluctantly obeying. I feel like Zod's just like yelling at all of his like little brothers and sisters, like, "Don't! I don't want to fucking deal with you and dad and mom." <laughs> imagine this, imagine and, like Overlord yelling at his little little minions. But I guess I, I would I would know with just goblin society that the the strongest is the leader <laughs> and unless one of them wants to challenge him they they have to listen <laughs> so you all follow the uh, black sludge yeah uh, yeah after looking around once more to make sure everyone's good yeah well most does it does it uh would it trigger anything in my mind based on my time with Grim at all? Um, it's probably some kind of necromancy afoot. Actually, no, Cord. This does not feel familiar okay. at all. Okay. Um, but you all follow the black sludge, and there is a tear in uh in the fabric of reality. What the fuck? Well, I wasn't here before. What does it look on the look like on the inside, and do I get any feelings? Uh, roll me history. Can do. What is crypto? <laughs> safe, to say, safe to say I've not seen anything like that out here. Uh, that would be 21. Uh, you've been to this place before. Oh, it's, uh, what's on the other side? You can't okay. recall why, but you've been there. Do I? Uh, Iris will back up a couple steps. I, mm -mm. nope, 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 nope. And the... The sludge just it uh, goes through to the other side, and the tear begins to close. Oh, thank Coriolis. Okay. Whew. Don't like that. No, don't like that. Nightingale, can you send a message to Aldrin? Tell them what we've also, seen here. Also, so what I feel the like they should fuck, know. Also, what the fuck was that? I <laughs> don't. I've not seen it. I don't before. know. All I know is that it's terrifying. Whatever's over there is terrifying, and we should not be happy that that was there. Uh, yes, and then I'll send a message. Uh, I'll get... I'll very playfully walk over and go to pretend like I'm gonna grab Sigib's hand in front of Saray, and then I'll just touch him on the shoulder. Uh, alright, relay your message, Gunny. I guess he would recognize my voice, so I don't need to identify who I am. Uh, tear in reality... Bizarre eldritch beings defeated. Not sure of origin. Will stay until detachment arrives. I don't know if there's anything else we really need to tell. Uh, oh, um, everyone okay? A few dozen townsfolks perished. Uh, I guess Love that's you, 22 words, and I don't need to say <laughs> anything else. So. Don't kill Zod is what I add in. <laughs> don't, kill, don't kill Zod or his army. Uh, okay. That's a lot to deal with. Oh, so how did you get you this number? <laughs> in a moment. This is a That's all you hear. And then you hear... <laughs> and you just see him just kind of, like, walking over. <sighs> oh, hey, Zod. And you hey. see Aldrin. <laughs> Glad you were here when, uh, when this whole thing happened. And as the terror finishes closing, you see doom, 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 something drop. I walk over and grab it immediately. It is a familiar staff. Son of a... Oh, oh, oh no. no. You didn't bother as, to look what you were picking as, up? You, as you grab it, you hear... Nope. No, <laughs> oh, I don't grab it. I was just about I, to if ask. it's familiar, oh. I, I pull out my Mac Mana first, and I uh, cast protection from good and evil on myself first. And then I grab it. sealed away. You still hear... <laughs> 
Oh god, I but can just, hear him just, laughing. Just, just, just off in the distance. Like literally, <laughs> she bends. She she casts her spell, bends over, picks it up, and then holds it like as far away from herself as possible. It's like, oh god, I can hear him laughing, and I like. Anyone uh, who, who? care to explain the collective groaning going on right now? <laughs> this oh. is something that belonged to Genesis. We thought we had dealt with this for the time being, but. Yes, I guess it was, not. It was under a protective Aldrin, seal this, from Kishon from himself, Kishon. I thought. Yeah, yeah Bane, can you was. figure out what's going on with that? Uh, uh Yeah, give me a minute. Um, she's going to kind of step away for a second and make a quick prayer. What? Aldrin, can you take a look at the princess? Uh, we tried healing, bleeding, he... and uh, nothing we could do. Sigib, it's not you going think, to work. It's not going to work, Sigib. Is this the Aldrin is the most adept magical user that I know, so if if anyone here can do anything about it, it'll be him. If not, we'll just have to bandage it and wait. Hey, I, kid, I, it's, uh, she's got I'm, I'm well her. aware of what it is. It, it just will kind of stop bleeding when it, when it stops. I've never seen one act like this before. What right. are you talking about? The captain's it, acted like this before. Ooh. Yours acted like this like a week ago. Never ble As bled this perfume. You, you probably shouldn't be saying that out loud. Uh, right. To uninformed <laughs> individuals. Uh, but I've never seen one bleed quite this profusely. Well, you know. <laughs> Krushka takes a heavy toll. That's who it belongs to. Zod's okay. He can he can hear. It seems like he's aware anyway. Not oh, that I care much for war and conquest. How how did a princess become the champion of a god of war and conquest? He's one of the patron gods of Cordova. The other being Krungar. Yeah, the previous uh, God of War. Um, well, Zod, you know. Yeah, I know. I don't care. I mean, I assume they're dead. Previous whoever it was. Well, previous champion of the God of War. So what happened? Uh, Sanix. Uh, that would have been severed his that. connection. Yeah, his name was Zack. He was a friend of Sanix's before he became Sanix. When was this? When did he? When did his connection become severed? I don't know. Yes. About a month and a half ago, something like that. Maybe Early longer. A month and a half ago. Maybe about longer. the same time then. Hmm. I don't know. Time's weird. It all bleeds together for me. Well, there's a particular captain that we know that said that. Uh... It was attempted on them before and failed when Sanix was uh, trying to figure it out, so the time frame does match. By the way, did Krishan ever get back to me? No. Mm. I thought uh, a message. That's unnerving. I... Child of the sea, I am not available at this time. <laughs> Please, leave <laughs> a message, message at the beep. At the beep. <laughs> was that? A message at the wave. Yeah. <laughs> until uh, the sound of sea foam. <laughs> until Bank can get a response, I think I can logic this. It's the staff, the armor, helmet, ring, dagger, amulet. Do you think that am maybe I... they're getting stronger now that they're getting together, or...? Yeah, am I... Am I bonkers in thinking they're all coming together and... I've been worrying about the same thing. Mm, how many of these have we seen lately, and how many of them have been... This is six. ...having influence in the world that, for all we know, hasn't happened in... What was it, 500 years? 500 years. But we only know By the way, the... Nova, 
does Sebastian still have the dagger or has it magicked its way back to me yet? Check your pack. Uh, Bane's gonna immediately do that. Uh, do I need to roll anything for that? No, because it's there. Okay. Bane isn't really gonna say anything. She's just gonna be like, hmm. I get this funny feeling that Aldrin, do you know any way that we could possibly seal these things away? <sighs> well, I tried when I flattened the Margrave's house, but, uh... But it didn't really work. Do you know if someone Anywhere might we be can... alive in Auckland? Someone alive in Auckland? Uh, fat chance. There it is. I can assure you that. Are we supposed to be oh, really? asking about Medania Hills? He shot well, himself, I mean, told me. Uh, Keyshawn told you? Hmm. He yes. Must of, he must be out of touch. Just because you're a curmudgeon old sot doesn't mean Keyshawn is. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, <laughs> Captain, Captain brings up a point, though. I, I think we were supposed to be asking about Medania Hills. Are we? I, I I just genuinely can't remember. There if that was, was something we got over last session. Someone that Lionheart mentioned being in Medania Hills. Yes. Well, uh, he said that someone will stand out. Yeah. <laughs> Zod, oh, like a big red angry dot on a green. Yeah. Thing. Let's ask Zod if he knows anyone like that. Nobody comes to mind. Nope, not at all. I thought that was your stomping ground. You don't know of anybody there? No. Eh. Guy must have been an asshole. Could have been any random red asshole who you never know. <laughs> oh, they're specifically red, are they? Interesting. I was going to say, are there a lot of red uh, red goblins out that way? Uh, no. Not anymore. Thanks to our dear Not Margaret. anymore. Yeah. No. A, a Kentucky Fried Goblin? <laughs> we do know that the captain was keeping tabs on the Margrave to some extent, so it wouldn't surprise me that he, uh, he'd be familiar with Zod's story. Um, Zod, are you sure you don't know anyone in Auckland? Alive? I, I haven't bothered to go over there yet, but now I have an excuse. So, I guess we can find out. Thinking well, of you know, now that the big powerful wizard's here, do you think we should get going? So that uh, he can keep an eye on that bullshit. I'll point where the rift was. And we can uh, get rid of this! And I hold the stupid staff. <laughs> when you said I mean, the big you, powerful wizard... I don't want to hear it! I don't want to hear it! When, when you hear. said the big powerful wizard, that's immediately what I thought was... <laughs> <laughs> It keeps laughing. We, all, we need to we, get rid of this fucking thing. We all thing. heard I mean, that, right? I'll take it if you don't okay. want it. I have a habit of collecting things. You, Let, you don't uh, want to touch this thing, I assure you. Uh, it's annoying. As much as powerful it is, it, as it is, its annoyance factor will outweigh. You do, what, you do what not want this kind of help with your sex life. What happens? <laughs> what happens if I hold it? Oh, I, I I have literally <laughs> cast a spell so that it does not affect me, Cord. I do not want I don't want a repeat of Sebastian in the chamber. Um if a book could do that, I do not want to think of what this could do to you. Or Bane on the ship. Or Bane on the ship. Yeah. We don't talk about that. I have an idea. If it's related to Genesis, I think I know what it, it, it'll probably do. This what do, what that... will it do? Probably the same thing Sanic does. How far is Auckland take, from here? Take over travel? your body and make you do whatever it wants. Sounds about right. Auckland's Auckland. west. Yeah, Auckland's Yeah, I mean, how, how far away, Rico? Yeah, like, like uh, meta knowledge, like, would I know how long it would take to travel there? About, yeah, I've done that uh, before. about a week. We're expected in Cordova. Take a week for us to get to Auckland. Do we... I guess we can return to Cordova for the time being, and then... We want to head back out, or... I mean, Aldrin, could you... You were able to send us here. Could you, next time you send us out, could you send us closer to Oklo? So there's no um, need... We cut down on travel time? Well, due to the negative energies of Oklo, I can't get you that close. 
How close can you get us? Closer than here? Maybe the Arbora, maybe. <clears throat> Just on the edge of it. Close to the bridge. What, what by the river? Yeah, close to the bridge. Would that what's cut down the, our travel time? Probably a little. What's the time crunch? Like what's what's our window? We gotta we gotta be in there again. I think it would be safer if Aldrin, is there any way we could anywhere we could seal the staff away, keep it under guard in Cordova? I can only hold this for 10 minutes for the record, so... Yeah, uh, we we need somewhere s safe, I assume, I mean, to store the thing. I don't mean to sound rude, but if Kishon can't seal it, what makes you think that anyone else can? Did we unseal it? We don't I think want it's to less let about in there out. It and making sure that nobody, that anyone that wants to come for it can't get it. But at the same time, was this the source of what of your problems here in Medora? Was it summoning those things? We've that... seen it summon things before. Then maybe time it was it a kraken. A populated capital full of innocent civilians is not the best idea either. Fair enough. That's a good point. How do I get? A... How do I get? Feeling in the pit of my stomach about this staff is suddenly here at the end of this battle. It feels like we're being led. It feels like we're being manipulated. So what happens I mean, when the, when we the gods possibly are? Hmm? If we go in with our eyes wide open, maybe we can. Turn it back on whoever's trying to trick us. For the love of God, is there some sort of sack I can put this in? I'm running out of time here. Um, Harry, I'll I'll take that and put it in my quiver. Can you yeah shove it in his? Uh, I I will put it. Back, I will put it in your quiver <laughs> instead of you touching it because I still have the spell yeah, on me. Just lean forward. There you go. It just what goes into the corner. Thank you, Captain. That shouldn't give us any trouble. You're welcome. Yes, it should. You hear you hear a slight. <laughs> Bye now. Shut up, Tommy. Okay, but... Shut the fuck up, Tommy. I'm gonna, like, smack the quitter. No. Shut up, Tommy. It's, it's like the Look, cheddar if it from worse the comes to head. worse, we'll just shove it in a bag of holding, and that might deal with the problem. I should have stolen uh, Ma's bag yeah, of holding. That, that's the solution to everything. Shove everything in a bag of holding. So, we should, we, should, we, should, we should get going? Do we go straight to Auckland, then? I guess... I don't Andrew, want to you be can head back staff. to Cordova and... Or the dagger. Tell the oh. king to hold off on the. About how far away? About how far away are the burial grounds, Rico? Um, as you look what? around uh, yeah. in this area, you see the old, uh, the old gallows still up, and you remember that fateful day. You saw what happened to your family. Still up, eh? You said still up? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, Sigan? Yes? Okay, real quick, burn that down. How far away is it? It's not, it's about, like, 30 feet away. Oh, okay, yeah, I can, I can easily hit that. Um, I think... Well, I'll, just, I'll just throw a couple firebolts at it. Those will ignite uh, flammable objects that are not being worn. Yep. Oh. The gallows uh, go up in flames. Good. And and where from there uh, are they buried? Like, is it like a burial ground? Is just out, like... just outside uh, towards Medania Hills. Like, what's like the setup with that? Like, I assume it's not just like gravestones, like the usual, right? Yeah, sure, it's, it it's more just like like you just see mounds and then like rocks piled on. Yeah, cairn, uh, I suppose. Yeah. Would I would I know which is theirs for a moment? Yeah, you sudden? would. Okay. Any like particular mark? Okay. Then yeah, just before we set out, make sure that I go to it and take out the carving, which is just you know, uh, his dad, his mom, him and his brother. Put it on the, on the grave. We're undersupplied for a trip to Auckland as well. We didn't really get a chance to prepare before we left the kingdom, so do we 
make our preparations here until the army arrives, then we leave. We at least need to, I suppose, stay here overnight, purchase, I don't know, some horses, a wagon. Like nothing, nothing else was damaged, right? Like everything's still standing. We could still get like provisions and stuff. Right? Uh, yeah, you can still get provisions. Yeah, so. They would. That's fine. Would there be like roaming horses and stuff that we would be able to get? Uh, they have, they'd have horses in the stables. Can I, can I follow Oregion to his family's grave uh, and see him kind of like put this little, little thingy on there? Yeah. Uh, so Aregion, I, su I suppose. Oregion and Iris are off. Are Sigurd, are you going with him? I mean, I suppose all of us would go with Oregion, except maybe Zod, because he doesn't give a shit about anything. But like... <laughs> Well, I mean, I don't give a shit about your guys' families. I don't know you. And I... thinks this is reasonable. <laughs> uh. I still have a little bit of like the mint leaf that he like made it rain at my wedding and I'll just kind of like sprinkle it on the grave. <laughs> She'll look at a regan. I don't know what um here and just throws it on the grave. Good something, thank you. Pats him on the back. Oh, oh okay. Leave you with the thoughts. I'll wander into town. And I guess Hold I'll it. put a hand on the shoulders while Aragion, do you stay behind a little bit? Like, back. Just to stay yeah. in solitude? Yeah, like, kind of kind of just, like, have Athelstan, like, lay down in front of him. He'll just kind of, like, press on him. I'll put it's my hand of... on his shoulder before I leave and say, you know, once we finish this Auckland business, we can set things right and make sure this won't happen again. I know, my friend. Thank you. And as you stand there, in solitude, there another person uh, walks up. I thought it was you. I'm gonna guess I didn't say that to. Uh, wait, when you're saying standing there, you just mean me now. Yeah, it's just you there, standing there in like... solitude. Okay, I'll turn around and look. What do I see? Who do I see? Your brother Argos. Oh fuck. Uh, like even after all these years it's he's easily recognizable the only thing is he has um, a massive scar over the side of his face and his eye is uh, like uh, blotched out white yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I've, I've, I'm kind of feeling like he would pass out at that like kind of like he would black out. Um, yeah. Does you believe there are no words? It? Yeah. That that was supposed to be his his grave that he was at as well. Sorry. After all these years, the coward returns. I'm just imagining that he's actually blacked out and isn't hearing all of this. Did you uh, actually pass out? I, I feel like he would, but I feel like he'd just be like in shock, like just seeing a him. complete shock. Yeah, rather than just cutting it short. <laughs> like, meanwhile, back at them after he passed the fuck out. Um, yeah. Athelstan just drags you back into town. Just... Yeah, how is Athelstan reacting to him? He looks and just... Who's he, boy? Coward, what do you... I didn't even know you were alive. Didn't bother to check, did you? I'm sorry. We we're all getting out. There was no time. They were already putting on executions. Those that could leave left, and I led them out. He pulls out his elven blade. Sorry won't cut it. I stand in front of our captain. You're not there. I was Damn like, it. wait a second, I, what? I thought, I thought we were all there. You are, you are I thought, not there. Dude, dude this I is, thought you, This is a Region <laughs> only. I thought you were going to say I there was like a oh, plot twist thought, where Cord was in the fucking bushes waiting to jump out. No, I, thought, I thought we were all. I thought we were still all at the site. Yeah. Is this really how you, you're going to handle this after all these years? Fuck. This won't bring them back. 
but it will make me feel better. What you feel is right. There's no one you have. Introduce him to the raptors. <laughs> Draw your sword, coward. He's some crayons. Is he like, is the blade he's like pointing, getting close to me the, or is he? the blade at you and he's getting closer, about to put it to your throat. Yes, look here. I'll reluctantly oblige and go to counter the blade. So you parry. Ting! Yeah. And that's where we're going to take a break. <laughs> we'll be back in just a little bit. Don't go too far away. Ah! A regular family drama! <laughs> and now family, trying to kill him. Family drama! <laughs> How to make the new Dragon Ball Mythic in Fortnite ten times stronger. So we all know the Kamiya Mama... Just, just take it out. Take it out of Fortnite. They don't, they don't deserve it. No, that, this is the last one. I can't. Potatoes. You can practically neglect them and they'll still grow. Is that why I'm so fucking fat? Worcestershire. Worcestershire system. Fuck! Have you ever felt like you've had no energy like this guy? Who? Me? Yeah, you. You uh, should try Rogue Energy. What's Rogue Energy? Well, Rogue Energy is a new supplement that gives you all the energy you need with all the great flavors and no calories and no sugar. And it's easy to make, too. All you need is a 16-ounce glass of water, a scoop of your favorite flavor of Rogue Energy, and then the final step, shake it. Keep shaking. Ultra shake, hyper shake, shake it all the way. And now you can try it for yourself. Wow. Don't forget to use promo code smoking dragons at checkout for 10% off your order. Get your rogue today. Now in a can. Hi, I'm Nova. And I bet you're tired of seeing me in this chair. That's why I'm here to talk to you about our Patreon. Our Patreon did just recently get a facelift, so while sitting my ass in this chair, we're going to talk about it. Our D4 tier is the general basic support and gives you access to our exclusive behind-the-scenes podcast, The Dragon's Lair. The D6 tier unlocks the ability to watch more exclusive content. We'll talk about that in a bit. The D8 tier gives you VIP status in both our Discord and our Twitch live streams, which come with their own perks. The D10 tier allows you to bring a character with your name attached to it into our D&D campaign. Also, from the D6 tier and up, you will have access to our exclusive D&D campaign, Pocket Adventures, an adventure that sees four children trying to be the very best like no one ever was. An exciting, nostalgic campaign that sees me finally get my ass out of the seat. I've been sitting here so long that it has begun to form fit to the shape of my ass, and it has lost all cushion. So please, join our Patreon and help contribute to me getting my ass out of this seat. Join our Patreon by going to the link on your screen or by clicking the link in the description below. Thank you. We challenge you as sister and brother. Couple, Cam and Allie. Um, boom, boom, bang out, don't, 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 out. Big wheels keep on turning. I hate you so much. <laughs> yes, bitch. Yes, bitch. Do the Donald Trump. Like you're sucking a dick. No. Taking all the dicks. My signature move. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a critical capture at least once? Oh my god! Oh my god! You think I go behind him? You're gonna. <laughs> What'd you see? Rico, what did your elven eye see? Fucking. Let me know. You looked around it. You saw? Uh, I'm fucking dead. What's back there? What's up? Let's go! That's so scary when you got a hype train going. <laughs> right?
It was really hypey. Oh, I don't want too fucking much on there. <laughs> and I, I don't I want you. I don't want you. I, get, I, could, look, I could get it off look, like a single lick. Uh, but but, but also like, also like, <laughs> just not, fucking do it. It's not that much. It's like a nice like picture perfect moment like. <laughs> Uh. I, I hate it too. Is it gone? Is it gone? I don't want to go for the rest. <laughs> go for the rest. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's salty for you. I don't like it. Oh, Actually, it's good. It's, it's, it's good. You're welcome. <laughs> I think I'm gonna vomit. Good. <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking <laughs> moved it right as I was jumping to it. This milkshake, no! No, this milkshake! This milkshake! Somebody, somebody could have won, but that, then he died off. That fucking milkshake! <laughs> Looking for some dead stuff, baby, this evening. I make some dead stuff, baby, tonight. I want some dead stuff, baby, this evening. Gonna make some dead stuff. Billy Pimpinis! Billy Pimpinis! Stream. Oh, that was great. Oh my god. Wait, door. Please, for the no, that's a great question. If I were, if I... I'm sure the mic peaked. I'm sure it did. There's no way it didn't. Oh, we, we definitely went ham on a couple parts right there, but um, uh, just use mic responsibility. There's another term for it, but if you're gonna if you're gonna go loud, yeah, that's pull why it back. I, that's why I pulled out. Yeah. Ah, amazing. Yeah, I'm sitting here doing this and you're just like, that's why I pulled out. All our power was put into this. Here I go. Taste the passion in my ball. Butterfly, please leave me alone. I ain't dealing with your shit right now. Do 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 do. I'm trying to catch both picks so that I can give one quish. And so I'm gonna catch them all. And maybe one will be shiny. Do 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 Shiny hunt on smoking dragons. Are you sure you don't want me to stop session no, no, no. and restart it? No, no, Got this. Okay, I, I get two more tries. It went this way. <laughs> it went straight back down. It's like, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> that was unfair. I'm coming you saw, get you. You saw it bounce sideways and it just turned right back the fuck around. <laughs> That's how physics works. Right? Super heat track and rock. No! And we're back. So, while Oregion is fighting with his brother, uh, we cut back to everybody else. Just tear off in the distance. Clink, 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 clink. <laughs> Aldrin, did you did you learn anything uh, from the king about uh, about this Grimaldi fellow? Um, not not too much, other than you know he's currently in uh, Carcassa. Uh, he only takes. Did you meetings, notice anything I... about that mind control spell? Did you figure out anything that I couldn't? Uh, no, unfortunately. There wasn't much I could figure you... out. He's a very mysterious individual. 
When was he last at court? Well, it had to have been a few days ago. It would have been... I don't know what, about the time that we first arrived back in town? He was... He did meet with the king a couple days ago. He only takes meetings at night, by the way. Anything else you know about this guy? Don't know what he does during the day. Um, but, uh... It's the king sent a missive that I'm going to be going there to treat with him. I need to know... I need to know more. Um, well, I mean, do you know, like, is he, I mean, clearly he's, I think he's a magic user of some kind, but I mean, what, what else do you know about the man? Not much. He mostly keeps to himself and, uh, squeaky clean, might add, uh, there's nothing out of the ordinary he does. Something smells fishy with this. He comes out of nowhere, somehow manages to take the place of the second most powerful house in the kingdom in the course of a couple of years. And I assume is mind controlling the king. What does he look like? Well, he's got long black hair uh, pale skin uh, and wears mostly black and red that's pretty much it I guess do we realize that that is the man that we saw when we uh, it sounds with Harold? It, it sounds uh, similar to the uh, the description of the man that you saw <sighs> Where is Harold's house? Harold's home, I guess, is, was it on, like, the main thoroughfare leading to the castle? Yeah. We saw somebody who looks like that one night passing by Harold's house heading up towards Castle Cordoba when we... when we first arrived. Yeah, he met with the king that night. Was it a private audience? The king almost not. always never gives an audience without at least his guards or somebody there. I was not privy to the information. Well, even if he's mind controlling the king, the guards still might not have noticed or even known he was doing it. I'm sorry, did somebody say Harold? Yeah, the old man owns a cafe. Just yeah, I like unconceivably that old guy. rich. He have... is obscenely well, rich. Did, did Harold mention Zod or did Harold only mention Shiani? He mentioned Shiani. Um, and I believe he mentioned Zod. Oh, yeah, because we talked about the Margrave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he had a... He hates the Margrave about as much as we do. Oh, he's got good reason. Gave me my sword. With Harold and... Princess and Aldrin trust you well enough. I suppose we can. <laughs> Do you guys say we deal with this Grimaldi fellow while we wait for the uh, for the army to arrive here? It's just we'd have to cross through the forest, but we can we can deal with him until everything is settled in Medora here, and then we can head to Oc. Would anybody object to that plan? I suppose not. I mean, it's important to you, and what's important to you is important to us. I told you you'd get your blood. I suppose it's about time. And I'm not very enthusiastic about somebody wielding this much influence over the king. It's, you know, our ally in this fight needs to be our ally in this fight. And I'd rather not have a father-in-law being Mind controlled by some night walking <sighs> son of a bitch. Hmm. I think I know what he is. <laughs> uh, night walking son of a bitch, so he's a goth. <laughs> I mean, he, <laughs> he, <laughs> the worst. Have you never picked up a book in your life? I have. 
I'm just making jokes. Are you trying to say he's something legendary? I mean, maybe, I suppose, you would read it in a book. He... Pale, dark-haired individual only comes out at night, mind controls people. Are you Nobody sounds hardly, like a, sounds are you like a nobody hardly ever sees him, and he's... He's taken a castle for his abode. Okay, legitimately though, Gunny, it is more yeah, but... likely that he is just a gothic person with magic than a fucking vampire. Statistically speaking, they, they barely way, we need exist. To get rid of That's fair. You can wear his ascot as a prize. Can't be a goth vampire, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be goth and a vampire. And the like, rarest. What, the fuck? Yeah, now, what is this they shit? Are so, mutually exclusive. Kid. Everyone knows that. Yeah. Let me get this straight. You're saying that Count Corvash Grimaldi is a vampire. Possibly. Even nice. if he's not, he's still... I, I assume yes. it's got to be a violation of some law to be mind controlling the game. To just be a vampire? That's illegal! <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, last thing in this kingdom needs last... is more evil motherfuckers in power. When's the last time you ever uh, heard of a vampire? I had I assumed vampires aren't real. I... Not really much recorded history about them. So even if I had picked up a book, Gunny, perhaps it wouldn't have done much help. They're just, uh... Things that humans use to scare their children into cleaning the dishes, I thought. <laughs> I mean, the same could be said for, you know, zombies and shite and... I motioned to where the tear was. Zombies are more likely than vampires, though. Oh, as we've noticed, they're much more uh, bountiful. Unfortunately. I, I get the feeling that none of you believe me. I'd be in your corner, dude, just for the record. I'm not there, but I'd be right there with... Look, <laughs> Captain Regian already Look. sleeps with garlic around his neck every single night <laughs> because he's paranoid with vampires. <laughs> Well, <laughs> haven't had a single attack yet, for the record. One hundred percent efficacy. Yeah, yeah. Until proven otherwise. <laughs> no, I'll well, believe it when I see it. So but I'm not. You pull Sebastian aside. Sorry, I just now saw that. No, no, that's fine. Um, while everyone else is having that conversation, arguing she's about kind of the vampires. Yeah. Um, she's just gonna kind of pull him aside and open up her pack and be like, I don't think you should tell anyone. It's already alarming enough and we're already pursuing ways to destroy these, but, uh, yeah. But it was in... I know. The Son same thing happened when bitch. it was taken from me before. Don't touch it. I won't, unless necessary. There is no situation where it is necessary. That is what you think? Are you okay? Look, if we have to kill some fools, and it happens to be a very powerful fool, I would like to use something that's just gonna obliterate said fool. Mm-hmm. You sound like Fine, I won't sense. touch it. Thank you. I'll just touch the little... What was that? What? <laughs> we should probably catch up with the group before they notice we're missing. Yes. Before well, Aldrin... They notice we're missing, yes. And he just... <laughs> walks back, still looking at you, just like... <laughs> like that? <laughs> I'm fucking the way that was said though. <laughs> Always <laughs> watching Bane Thorell. <laughs> the leather. I eye on you. <laughs> what really did it for me was the leather. Hey, well, look, Aldrin, even if you don't believe me, cool. here, yeah, I'll take my, my empty ring of spell storage because I haven't put anything into it yet. Uh, could you store some kind of, I don't know, strong 
don't know, like, I, I would be too, like, meta information to say, like, a radiant type spell. Like, something, you know, strong, the strongest thing you can fit in this thing that can, I don't know, magic that harnesses the power of the sun. Do you know anything like that? And I, I did check the, daylight, I did check, Gunny. I did check the wizard spell list. Dawn is a fifth level radiant damage spell, and that's what the ring can hold. It, it's assume, on the wizard list. You assume that he's only wizard? limited to the wizard list. <laughs> I just know for sure that that's one. <laughs> he probably knows. But I, I would like him to store uh, Dawn in this ring if he could. I like the little head Because, because that is the have. strongest radiant spell that can fit in here. <laughs> <laughs> it's like in, it's in rhythm. Dawn's a nice girl. Why he you he just rolls ring? his eyes and goes... <sighs> And he just puts his hand over it, and then you now have fifth level dawn. Thank you. I take it you probably won't be able to join us. I suppose no, you probably got, needed here and at the castle. I got business. Um, Zod, how about uh, how about we stick around and you know catch up? Yeah, I kind of like this town. Well, you don't want to what come do and like meet up a goth town? human with us. Huh? Oh, I like that it's weak and unprepared. It's, uh... Why do you? You're a little concerning. Riches or? Oh, it's. You guys are goody two shoes. Don't don't concern yourselves with with, with me and you. my people. Speak you can you them. can go and have fun murdering a count or whatever you want to do. I'll be. <laughs> I'll be having. He's, I'll be doing my own thing. He's scared because his blood type is Hebe, as in Hebe positive. He ain't getting bit by no vampire. <laughs> what if I made you a deal, Zod? Once we get rid of this Grimaldi fellow and I take my lands back, uh, once we finish this business, I'm due to be installed as Duke. If I install you as captain of Medora. If you come help us with this vampire fellow, does that sound like a fair deal for you? You'd be wealthy. I mean, maybe not wise, but let me let me. I'd let rather me have you on my flat. side than against me. Let me lay it out flat for you, since you're all new to me. Whatever, whatever your your deals or the things that you think work for normal people that's not me my ambitions and my motivations are not so complicated that you need to wheel and deal with me or that kind of thing and because of that they don't you can't wheel and deal with me you can't make me a deal that i'll accept i'm going to do whatever I want, and I'm going to continue doing whatever I want. And if I do something you don't like, then we're enemies. If I do something you like, maybe we'll fight on the same side. Maybe the next time you see me, I'll be trying to rip your throat out. That's just the way I am. It's the way I'm always going to be. The only person currently that you can make a deal with me about I've already killed once. Oh, Brycott's on the list. If we hunt him down again, do you want to kill him? I'll make that deal. You bring Brycott before me. Maybe we can work something out. All right. In the meantime, you want to help us kill a vampire? Or are you, uh, are you too scared? Sounds like too much work. If you're Honestly. scared, you can just say so. Nah. Just like three days. Trying to get it really does sound Sounds like rather, more trouble than it's worth currently. Sounds rather just unmotivated. Like, kind of anything involving Cordova is more trouble than it's worth, honestly. I'm thinking of leaving. Where, where are you going to head to? On the cord? Over? Up north. 
Hmm. What, Adelas? Yeah. A lot of... I wasn't there when it fell. I might want to see what's left. Adelas and Adelas? What's left should be plundered, pillaged, whatever I so choose. Well, my concerns and my authority don't extend beyond the borders of Cordova, so... You ever get to raise and decide to come to uh, Ulthia? Wouldn't mind showing you around. Oh, let, let you'd love Ulthia. Don't worry. I won't stay landlocked for very long. Nah. You'd love well, Ulthia. Rough and tumble, lots of fighting and looting and... Oh, he'd fit perfectly in Umbra. Just saying. Considering uh, we just wiped out one of the two most powerful place, uh, people, organizations in there, uh, there is quite a power vacuum. Just saying. I don't expect that to last for long. My idiot friends went over that way. Idiot friends? What, friends? Well, they might consider themselves friends of mine. Who More like useful be? idiots most of the time. Just out of curiosity, is that the ones who you saved uh, Cordova with? Or defeated Zanuck. Uh, yeah. Zanuck. Yep, the heroes of Cordova are I've been meaning to layers ask, of Stanix. What is Oscar really like? They went to go off and do something for the greater good, and I couldn't be fucked about the greater good. Mm. Caught that about you. Oh, 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 don't worry. You'll eat those words. What? What is Oscar really like? I met him very briefly, quite a long time ago. Um, I'm curious. Stupid, horny, and earnest to a fault. Sometimes okay. that gets you in trouble. Sometimes he helps you out. Yes, but what about Oscar? Sounds like trouble more of the time, from what I've heard. Sounds. Oh, sounds about. He the is same loads as, of trouble. Sounds about the same as many years ago. Good to know. But he does try his hardest. Hmm. Let's not be. Uh, let's not be a very gifted individual then. One of the few people that's actually earned my respect. Hmm. How does that happen? How indeed. You have to meet him and then you'll find out. Hmm. Oh, I assume he'll show his face in Cordova again at some point, so. Whether or not it stays attached is a matter to be determined, but... Anyways, Alderman, what do you want to say? We can walk and talk. Yeah, let's uh, let's walk and talk. Hope to see you cause chaos in North Year one day, Zord. I'll be around. Okay. Should we figure out if the captain wants to join us on, on this vampire hunt? Yeah. So gather his thoughts? Thank you very much. And... Uh, with that, uh, Solar, if you need to leave, you can go ahead and do so now, or you can stay and chill for a bit. No, I need to finish eating real quick. Have fun. All right. Enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. Nice yeah. Looks good. Bye, Solar. Thank you for joining Second us. part. Bye. Take care. And so we cut over back to Aregion. Dude, Zod better leave my fucking village. I'm so ready to come to blows with that. Oh, no, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll kill Zod if we have to. I, I mean, it's say. unfortunate, but I mean, hey. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was, <laughs> Iris, would, Iris would set him off in Althea just to watch what he could do, but, like, if, yeah, she'd absolutely if, will him. If, 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 he, <laughs> if, if, with Zod, if with Zod, he could tell that you cared a lot about the village, so he was fucking, he was fucking negging, yeah. for sure. Yeah. And, and that's negging it, you guys if, hard if, for him. If I was gonna, if I was gonna, like, have And he just saw us turn a bunch of zombies into paste, he probably realized he can't win. <laughs> Even yeah. with his goblin army, yeah, he knows. What were you saying, Aragon? I, I was gonna say, uh, yeah, if, if I'd had, like, another word with him uh, after all this, I'd have been like, uh, you better leave this fucking village alone or I'll have your head. <laughs> yeah. I think he he's well would, aware he, of the implication. Would have, it would have, uh, would have respected you for saying that, too. Yeah. Okay. Like, huh, you got balls. Maybe, maybe if we uh, I'm meet again. Surprised to hear that he actually respects Oscar. I didn't. Yeah, know. I was very surprised. Dude, I did dude, not, I, I did dude not, I'm. 
I'm not he's gonna never lie. going to when, let Oscar know it. When, when he <laughs> when he when he said that, like just knowing what what like Aragon knows from Sega, he would be like, okay, I immediately trust his uh, judgment of character. I immediately don't trust his judgment of character. All right, so, um, your brother uh swings at you. This is during while that while that entire other conversation was going on. So. We were going in slow mo. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, what is your AC again? Uh, that my is AC a 22 is... to hit. Fuck. Oh, uh, it's a 15. <laughs> 15. So uh, you're going to be slashed for uh, 10 points of slashing damage. Damn. As he slashes across your chest. Oh, my God. And he goes for a second swing. 24 to hit. 11 points oh. and he oh. slashes another across your chest so he makes an X on your chest Done. you said 11? yes jeez well it was nice it was nice visiting the old village while I could before I get murdered in it do you attack your brother back? <sighs> yeah going going for a wound though not too not too, uh, not like for the chest or anything. And going I'll for his leg. Damage. Yeah. Okay. Uh, roll the hit then. Uh, that is. Plus, just going off plus with the sword. Yeah. Uh, that is a dirty 20. That is that 20. Okay. How does that work with non lethal damage, or is it just still. It's still, it's still it's the still, same. It's still damage. It only okay. only non lethal matters when when they're getting low in HP. It just means you won't kill them. Gotcha. So you slice his leg. Yeah. Uh, uh oh. Well, that is. Does a one go to a two or does a one stay? Because it's pl- it's it's a five if so, or if not. Uh, you didn't so, crit, five over. So. Yeah. So that's uh, so five damage, and then you have another attack. Yeah. Uh, that is seven. Seven to hit. Oh, sorry, sorry. Another attack. My bad. Uh, that is also a dirty twenty. Then the seven damage will apply. Okay. Really, how you want to play this? I will kill you, fucking coward. You've left them to die, and uh, he's getting very emotional with his swings. And this one just like, like, wide open. You're able to parry easy, and then second one, natural one. You're able to parry, and the sword is knocked out of his hand and it sticks in the ground. Like, is he is he just standing there or he's, he's disarmed currently. He just so it's just sword to his throat. If you want to put it there. Don't make me tell you where they laid the rest, please. It's not what you think. If you're gonna kill me, kill me. Because I will never stop trying to kill you. Then you see a tear roll down the scarred portion of his face. So, it's gonna mirror that with a tear running down his face. You know I don't. You know I won't do that. Coward won't even give me a warrior's death. I thought you were dead. I'm sorry. I might as well have been all these years. Wouldn't you think perhaps after all this time that we should start again living as brothers? He just (coughs) spits in your face. (laughs) 
Yep. Where do we go from here? Do what you must. Hmm. But I already know what you'll do, coward. And what's that? You'll let me live. Well, you know me too well. And I'll just hit him with the hilt of the blade. Hopefully right. knock him out. You should roll the hit. I'll give you advantage on that. Thank you. Uh, that is also a dirty 20. Boom! And we'll just, uh, and he just falls down and he's out. I'm sorry. I'll go and collect his other weapon and hold on to it. I'll look around to see if, uh, any sign of them or anyone who yeah, saw that. How long it's gonna take us to make it there? Uh, as you're waiting, the rest of you uh, rejoin, and you see a Region standing over uh, an unconscious man. I guess, like, did were any of the other townsfolk we noticed, like, elves? Like, are there still a lot of wood elves around, or is the fact that there's, there's like, still, an elf there's on the still, ground notable? There's still a couple wood elves around, but it would be, it still would be notable that there is one on the ground unconscious. Everything okay, Captain? You see the captain has two large slashes across his chest, making an X. Oh, there's no Corialis. I'll walk over and I'll heal him. I guess I'll go and inspect the... I, I guess I'll... We don't know if he's dead or not, so I'll go yeah, and you don't know. inspect the elf laying on the ground. Yeah, I'll give I'll give either Cord or Sigup his, his uh, blade. Hold on to He hands you uh, a... Uh, Slender, long elven blade. Uh, I'm here, Cord. Okay. Blade. 14 health back, Oregion. Oh, thank you. Uh, do you want so to do a medicine check on the on the elf? Yeah, I guess. Uh, All right, roll me medicine. That's a three. <laughs> Oh no. I was gonna <laughs> ask if I could assist. Dead. You <laughs> fucking captain. killed him! <laughs> Can I assist? Jesus, or Captain Why? Or I guess, I guess, you know, Jesus what's, doesn't exist in this world, but. What, what's this hilt made of? By the gods, Captain, we've been. We don't need to kill any more of the. No, no more of the townsfolk need to end up dead today. Oh. Uh, well. What's, what the hell well, is going on? Is he well, dead? Can I check him? You can check him. Roll he, should, he should just be out cold. <clears throat> You sure? Should be. I'll put, put my ear to his chest. Seems pretty dead to me. I rolled a two for a five total. Oh He's my god! Can dead. I? Can I? Can I do it? Oh, two, please? Can, I, can I do it? Two? Can I do I'm it? Two? Yeah, I was gonna say. Can I? Can I go ahead and can can do I, one I start up too? Yeah. Before they start doing like the service for this guy who they don't even know. Look, court, court, like, it's quicker if I just burn the body. Oh, <laughs> such I rolled an 18, 21 total. Oh, he's just out. <laughs> okay, he's passed out. It's fine. It's, he's fine. <laughs> we very like, in, meet. Very invested. Pretty hard in then. This, very invested in this stranger that they're just like you murdered him. His breathing is a tad shallow. I'll cast a low level healing spell on him. Shallow, just like he is. Do we oh. need to tie him up? That would probably be for the best. I guess so you like that sort of thing. I've got some rope in my bag that I can use be, to just kind of like. You'd be surprised with some of the brothels. Behind his hands, behind his back, and I mean, he gets a, a, uh, the passed out elf gets eleven health if that matters. Uh, well, that's uh, almost back to full health from the damage that Region did to him. He has one one missing HP. Region, the elf beater. So is the uh, hey, brotherly love. Um, so is you still haven't told us who this done? is. We just assume you've picked the. No, 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 no. I was no. I was just gonna say real quick. Is is like all the damage like healed? Then it was just the slashes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I guess you'll be introduced later. But this is my previously thought dead brother, Argos. Argos. Would I know if would I know if he only had like one brother? Or if he had like multiple? Like, much would I know about his family? 
like I know I know like the uh, the bow you have belongs to your brother, but like I, what I know if you had like multiple or if it was just the one. Well, it's just the one brother, right? Yeah. Yeah. Only one that's ever been mentioned. Older Did brother. you want his bow back or something? What? Uh, Seems like an interesting he, way to uh, to greet he just, somebody. He just wanted to kill me for being a coward. Ah. Well. You get labeled a coward for surviving? You know how he even made it out? I thought he was... I suppose. Told me he was dead. I... I thought he was. I saw the hangings and... I guess... On my part, I assumed he never came back. Like, how did he get the bow, now that I'm thinking about that? Like, like did you see him go down at some point? It. Like... I didn't go to the battle. I mean, he, I mean, he, he, he could have just uh, not, like, took that bow with him or something. Yeah, no, your brother left the bow with you to, oh, okay. to defend the house. Have something, okay. Uh, either way, we should probably get him to some sort of bed. Looks like he's got quite a knot on his head, which I'm assuming you did, Captain. Uh, is there a house... Is there your house? Is it still standing? I assume, and then I'll point at the brother, that it probably still exists. I hope. I mean, assuming he lives here. Or stops in. Hell of a coincidence to see him here during all this. I mean, there's probably an empty house that, you know. Yeah. I mean, I know we're now zombified owners. We can. He knows. Yeah. We can pl politely somewhere. ask them. Well, you're more more local local here than the rest of us, Captain. So, if you wouldn't mind leading the way, were you about to call me loco? No, I was trying okay. to slip into the Scottish okay. accent there for a second, but I, I decided you're not to. You're fucking, you're fucking loco. Like, you're damn, you don't fucking tell git. <laughs> you gotta tell him. Anyways, yeah. So, I mean, he'll look around and. Um, does he see the old family house? Is it still standing? As you are uh, walking with your unconscious brother uh, over your shoulder, um, you do see your old uh, family house. It is still standing. Though like it looks like living it's, in it. Like it's been oh, okay. it's been remodeled though. Oh, okay. Because you remember it was uh, on fire last time you saw it. Oh, okay. So, like, can we tell it's, Remodeled like... by the fire, or...? <laughs> I mean, no, it's just no, what is all the rain. After, after the fire. <laughs> um, yeah. you, could go, you could go knock on the door. Yeah. Yeah, let will see if there's anyone home. Just try and uh, have them uh, hide the unconscious person for now. So, could not. Uh, the door opens. Hey! Hello. Hello. Who might you be? I don't remember. Nice. <laughs> Who are you? I actually said that. Uh, a Regian Leif. But then he'll, like, catch himself. Kind of look back at them. And he'll wi he'll lean in and whisper to him. You know the name. What? We'll go back in and do it again. Seeketh? So, what do you seeketh here? It's he'll, one, one, once more, once more. Third time's the charm. We'll whisper it once more. Oh, Selkith. Yeah, he'll, go, he'll kind of <laughs> kind of go to cover his mouth. You used to live in this house, didn't you? Yes. Uh, and I, yes. And this is like an old uh, uh, Valinar wood elf. Not anyone I recognize from back then, though. Uh, maybe. Maybe. But the age has done has not done wonders for this man. Old man Sid's hearings only went to shit even more. Did your brother live here or not? <laughs> uh, we all did. Who uh, said that? Which uh, one? 
we're, we're trying to find know. listen where listen he's staying so we're we're yeah we're trying what? to we're trying to have some uh refuge for now i used to live here with my family some ways back um unfortunately when the cleansing rolled in they the cleansing it. now yes. Ah! No, no, sir, sir, no, sir. No, I'm going to try and stop him. Sir! Ah! Unfair. You're fine. Ah! Years ago, you're fine. Okay, I'm going to give him a little pat on the cheek. <laughs> okay. Ow! Did you, Why you figure out me? if your brother lives here yet, or are you just terrorizing an old man? Did you shut Why up back there? <laughs> He's been through enough. Don't razzle him more. Is that little Argos? Yes. You remember him, but not me? Who are you again? <laughs> uh, he's more he's more Argon. Argon and then he'll he'll lean in and whisper it again. Oh a Region! Yes! Come on in! Come in, please. Bring him in bow as I come in. Yes, hello. So I'll just nod as I drag, I drag in this unconscious brother. <laughs> Welcome to my home. Oh, you're a pretty sea elf. Oh, uh, there's unpretty mm -hmm. ones? Sometimes. You see many sea yeah, elves, lately? experience with that dude, sir. As they say, beauty is in the eye of the holder. Word for word. Yes, I'm sir. Pure holder. So and so they do. Have you seen many sea elves? Just out of curiosity. Not recently. Okay. Seals. Well, this is the finest one you see. I assure do you. Do we look like we live by the ocean, or do we? I don't remember. There's a river, but that's it. Close enough, yeah. Yeah, well. <laughs> Are there <laughs> river elves? Things <laughs> no. um, like, like whispering, don't insult me. <laughs> um, the river elves are like the Alabamans of the fucking. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's, like that's fucking how, swamp people. That's, that's <laughs> how. That's swamp elves. That's, cousins and shit. that's how we'll know when we get into yeah, their turn. Is we'll start here in the banjo. A, re a region? Is that you, brother? Oh shit! I seen you in a. <laughs> is that that Bainthal rail? Oh. <laughs> when we're just... who? Just reminds I'm me of the. I'm waiting for all that. We end up in my britches, yes, sir. <laughs> See, in my mind, this is just like Avatar, like We've the swamp benders to the regular water I was literally <laughs> gonna say. <laughs> With the We've fins, with the party. fins and everything. <laughs> We've got to go to a party. There's going to be fighting in the daddy bucket, but it's only going to be the two of us. Um, so, so have you have you seen him around? Has he been here frequently? Does he live here? Yes. Argos, Argos, sorry. What? Yes. yes. Ar Argos. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes. What? Argos. Yeah. Ar He's gonna resist us slapping this man. <laughs> Argos, yes. Have, have you seen him around much? Does he look I here? see him right there. Yeah, well, before no. now. <laughs> He's trapped well, in that mirror. He comes around occasionally. I love this old man. Says, he, says he goes around Auckland a lot, too. What? Oh. I said he goes around Auckland a lot, too. Did I not say that? Did I say it? I am immediately healing him for the rest I of his damage up. and smacking him awake. <laughs> Bane is going to be, like, up in his face. Please. Please, please <laughs> like, don't. wake up. Wake up. Yeah, wake he's going to look over at Wake them. up. Please, please don't. We need to know about Auckland, though. We do. Wake up. What the hell is this? Get, get out of my face. Probably I'm assuming he was tied up. Tear his throat out. Yeah, I tied him up. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Rip I'm him like... to pieces. It's Shut okay, up. Argos. No need to worry. Your brother's here. I know. I want to fucking get... <sighs> um, I'm going to... Are going to smack him on the forehead? I'm no. sorry. No, you're oh, good. Damn it. I want to do something to him. Shut. 
up. I want to use it. Do I have your attention? Oh, you're going to intimidate him? Reluctantly. Cord wants to intimidate him. You have <laughs> been to Ockham. Yes. I go there for summer Are vacations. The... I've heard it's quite nope. lovely. Like just hard ass. Vacation. Are you the only living person there, or are you visiting someone? If you must know... I must. Basketball. Fuck off. She's gonna take Stop a vicious it. pistol and lay it on his chest, pointing up towards his head. That's okay. He's gonna, like, go in. to start to grab it, but he's just gonna wait. Um, I'm, you, I'm gonna roll for intimidation. Uh, how are you going to intimidate him, Cord? I'm going to take my friggin' hand. I'm just going to put it on his chest and be like, back. <laughs> just, just be a. She has the gun on him. Yeah, she has the gun yeah. on him. I'm like, I'm like, over him, holding his no, shirt with so like the gun on his useless. chest. It, you can still intimidate him, dude. Just do something different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just I... don't, just don't hurt him, or I will draw on you. I don't know. Threaten to take his other eye out with your claws or something. <laughs> do have very sharp claws, and they are yeah. silvered. You they are, are literally a, an animal person. You could bare your teeth and snarl from over Bane's shoulder. You could be foaming okay, at I'll, the I'll, mouth at him. Right. <laughs> I'll get up in his face and I'll be like, how would you like another scar to match the other one? Oh, there you go. Hey. That's good. Roll intimidation hey. and damage. I like that. I'm sure somewhere, deep, I'm sure somewhere <laughs> deep down he admires it. Advantage, yeah. You say roll with advantage, yes? Yes. It's conflicted as Oh, shit. Damn. Oh, wow. And put I... The, I the, the fear of the gods in the Argos. Still with Is the princess still with us, or did she leave with Aldrin? Uh, no, she's still with you guys. Oh, so oh, she's seeing man, all I'm behaving this badly in she's front just, of her. She's just in silence and awe at all this. Um, this is not I the would, worst she's ever seen. I, I would That's tell like, you they're not normally like this, but that wouldn't be true, strictly speaking. This isn't the worst I've ever seen. I take the silver. I Nail. traveled with Oscar, remember? Yeah, that odd character seems like he, uh, I traced he would have enjoyed making people uh, fill their britches. And then that I was moved very much like that, yes. Uh, Thing. And I start very slowly making a symmetrical copy. And soon I'm going to start to draw blood unless. So is it like I, a, like I, a I teasing? Is it like a teasing? I feel like yeah. he's just like, like digging not... his claw in, and oh, if he oh, 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 doesn't start like, talking, he's going to keep going. It's almost like CBT. Put it that way. Like what? For those of you, for those of you in dungeon culture, um, C and D torture. Should I should I fill you in on what that means to the uninitiated? Sure, please. <laughs> Cock and ball torture. This time, I guess it's a tie ball. <laughs> I'm getting. I'm. Getting, I'm just like. You can see that it like your intimidation is getting through to him, but at the same time, he. Come on. I died I'm... years ago. If you're gonna do it, do it. Oh, for fuck's sake. You're, no, you're, it's you're, okay. You're sitting right here. It's alright, you guys are Come helping. On. I would like to lean in, and I'm going to speak to him, just very quietly. Um, and I'm going to use words of terror. Or not- God damn it, I always get it mixed up. Um, no, yeah, words of terror. Um, can speak to a humanoid alone, this is why I'm whispering. Uh, one minute cause him to become frightened of me. Uh, until if the target that sees he's not aware um generally you know they're scared of you hopefully they tell you something so just gonna lean in and look they are intimidating but it can get quite a lot worse and there are worse things than not dying we can make that real for you we won't want to we don't want to because of who your brother is but perhaps maybe you can at least give us some information and we'll get out of your hair but come on we can make it worse for you if you'd like. Um, that sort of thing. Uh, he has to pass a DC 16. It doesn't. Oh, wisdom saving throw. Not natural 19 on the die. Fuck. Okay. 
Well, he's not aware that I used it. Apparently, I'm just so, fucking brother, trying to. So, you have your underlings do all of your talking for you, coward. Hey. Oh, shut up, adopted. You. You're so no, I... willing to take the easy way out and die. That is more cowardly than anything. At least I your brother survived, helped others survive. They're my family Meanwhile, too. Meanwhile, like, you get to die tied up on the floor of a... Of our old home? Of, nowhere. of our old home? Is this what you want? I'm doing a special on neutering today. What I want is to kill you, Abregion. Oh, well, you know what they say. You can want in one hand and shit in the other. Uh, See what shows Cap up right <laughs> Captain. Yes. Your brother. Do you no think? Do you think that you dying would make him feel any better? Because if that is truly what he wants, I can resolve that issue immediately afterwards. If it would really make him feel better. Mm -hmm. Let him get the kick in. Bring you back to life. Uh, look at him like a little bit. Look at uh, Argos a little bit salty. Would it seriously make anything better? If you just want to get dead. it out? No. You want the hit in, you can get the hit in, but we bring him back to life because he's our friend and our captain, and we respect him, unlike some other people in this room that are blood-related. Allegedly blood-related. And I'll ask one other thing of you as well. I'll let you kids play. I'm gonna go get some snacks. Thank Anybody you, Grandfather. Is, snacks? Is, Absolutely, is, please, please thank you. Please. Is, is his name, is his name, like, actually Sid, or, like, what are we going with on that? You said I feel Sid, like I'm going with, I'm we're going, going with Sid. Sid. Okay. Uh, uh, uh we're, I'm fine, Sid, butter, butter whatever, pops? whatever they'd like, please. Thank you. Peanut butter, okay. Butter, 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 okay. You have teddy like, grams? <laughs> kind of shuffles off. What Comes brand? back with Don't forget, teddy don't grams. Forget the, don't forget the peanut butter, butter pops. The, the little crack is shaped like, uh, like bears. Maybe. Comes back with some butterscotch candies and some <laughs> yoo-hoos. Whatever hey, those strawberry and things are that old people always have. Candies. The straps, I actually yep. love those, those too. Oh, there's and, a jar of Tylenol. Yep. <laughs> and a jar of Tylenol PM. Sorry, they're a little warm. They've been in my pocket. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> How long, Sid? Oh, about five years. <laughs> Oh, for about 200 years. They should could, still be he, good. He couldn't remember that they were there, but he remembers the time that they've been there. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I had these. It must have been 200 years ago. They're flattened like a circle. Is he just taking his sweet time shuffling out the door? Yep, just, she just shuffles over to his kitchen. Just awkwardly yep. watching him. That's the deal. If he's okay with it, we let you get in a kill blow. I bring him back to life. You tell us what we know. If he's yeah, good with it. Yeah, one more. One more thing I'll add to that. You take us oh, to Auckland. I, I can peel your face off. If you know the area, you'll come in handy. You get to kill your brother. And you still can get what you want. If it's so important. Fine. Promise? I promise. Excellent. Uh, give Bane me a wants to minutes. use her detect thoughts to see what he's actually thinking. Okay. <clears throat> I'll get the diamond ready while she's doing that. Um, yeah, let's just say, safe to say, uh, Regan will be the one to cut his restraints, be the closest to him. He has to do... What's the save? DC 13. Uh, wisdom? It doesn't say. Medallion uh, has. I'll, I'll search detect thoughts spell real quick. It should be either wisdom or intelligence. It's probably wisdom if I had to take a guess. I would, I would, I would guess wisdom. Did did any of you like search him earlier? Wisdom save. He was out. It doesn't matter. He rolled a two on the die. Oh shit. Man, what you think, boy? <laughs> <laughs> all you no hear, betrayed. um, all you hear is, uh, you know, thoughts of him killing a Region, but you hear, you feel also. 
there's conflicted thoughts that you know seeing his brother after all this time all these uh, memories that he has with him and his brother because Argos is the older brother uh, so you know all these memories of just with his uh, with his baby brother and he's got he's got conflicting thoughts didn't Arachion be the one that has the problem with him? Before Bane, like, completely lets go, she's gonna make sure that she's making eye contact with him. You know, I thought the older brothers were meant to be the protective ones. Yeah, Scrappy. What do you know? What do I know? <laughs> My family was killed. There were cousins, children, I know. dead. Me and my family, we fleed. We went to ground. Do you know what that's like being a sea elf, living on land for so long? I took any job I could just to get back on the sea. If I saw any of my cousins, I don't care if they literally saw me and ran. I would be so happy to see that they were alive, and you, you call him a coward for helping himself, for helping others? You were the older brother. Did you not protect him? Should you not be overjoyed to see that he's alive and not dead like the rest of them? You call him a coward. All I see is a pitiful excuse for an elf. The diamond's ready. Whenever you're ready. Just cut my restraints. I'd be glad I don't kill you too. Who's closest <laughs> to him to cut those? <laughs> you it's not going to be think... a regular. <laughs> you, you would be dead before Bane. you breathe, you breathe okay. if I... you did. Do you cut the restraints? The Regeon? Uh... Ben is keeping both her pistols at the ready. Yeah, I mean, if, if you're on standby how, like that, yeah. How many, how many restraints is, does he have? Just the ones on his hands. The, the rope, right? Put one first. It's just the one on his hands. Oh, it's just it's just one together, not them yeah, separate? Yeah, one together, yeah. Ah. So, Region, do you cut the restraints? Start to yeah, start to okay. cautiously cut them. Be ready to uh As soon as soon as you cut them, he doesn't even wait to reach for his blade, he just grabs you by the throat and just holds and... you down <gasps> and starts choking you. Oh. Now can I pull him I... off? Yes. No, this is part of the deal, Cord. If he wants it. Uh, if uh, Regian stops it, then I we'll heard, I heard I heard kick. Does a Regian yeah. bluff? <laughs> Does a Regan what? Resist. I mean, if it's him, it's what he wants. Is there some kind of plan here? Well, no, I'm because if a Regan starts resisting, then that's when Iris would go to pull off your brother. But if you're not resisting, then she's going to let it happen. Joking is a very fine line here. Uh, yeah, I guess. Like, am I still able to get words out? Yeah. It'd be, it'd, be, say, we, it'd be weekly, but yeah. You he could. would just say, they wouldn't want this. And he's just squeezing, and then he lets go, and his his head just goes into your chest, just, and he just can feel him softly sobbing. Should we put a hand around his head? And he just slaps it away. I think Athel's been to try and snuggle him. Oh, the pride how, of the long-lived. How close is Athelstan? Athelstan is just like had, right there with us. Yeah, Athelstan had to fight like, like every instinct to just try to like you know not go and just like maul him. Yeah, how's he reacting now? He's just kind of like, like head cocked to the side, confused. Okay. So still awkward, not quite comfortable to like go in there. Okay. No. 
He sniffs and then he kind of walks closer. Yeah, I'll extend my hand to him. So did we just like, have some licks, big feelings? He licks your hand. Yeah. I'll kind of like direct him over to Argos. Gently though, not like shoving him in his face, but yeah. you know, yeah. He feels because. he feels Athelstan come closer, then he just puts his arm around him. And he just continues crying. Suppose I didn't need this after all. I'll put the diamond away. I thought you said something about a diamond. I meant to ask, but it, like yeah. shit was popping off. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry for everything, brother. And that's all I'll say to him. I'll just kind of lay there as long as he's sobbing. Or did you say he was still? Yeah, he's still sobbing. Yeah. Just kind of look around everyone else. I think I will go help Sid in the kitchen with some snacks. Does anyone want to join me? Hot cocoa. <laughs> Ben's like <laughs> already putting her guns away at the thought of hot maybe, cocoa. Maybe. <laughs> Come on, Cord, we need some extra hands. You, you two, Gunny, Sebastian, uh, your highness. <laughs> maybe see if he has some ale first, please. Thank yes, you, because alcohol will make that situation better. <laughs> ah. Hey, you wouldn't know what kind of drunk he is like I would, so. You say the word, and we're attending a bris. Oh, I, a what? I, I don't think a bris will be required, Cord. Come on. And she'll push Cord. Behind, like, I'm, I'm, I'm blanking on bris. I want to This is the ceremony. It's, it's a circumcision. Oh my, oh my god! Jesus. I did not remember that being is what it? that was called. What the fuck? It's 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 a it's a Jewish a term specifically. Oh no! Like the bris oh, is yeah, like the I ceremonial did. thing. Yes. Oh shit! And, and then you eat because bris is the prefix for bris. Yet. Gross. Anyway, I'm pushing yeah. everyone. You got to risk it for the brisket. Yeah. <laughs> Billy Crystal Billy taught me that joke. Who did? <laughs> Billy Crystal. Oh, nice. <laughs> Let him have his moment. <laughs> so, hey, I, I'm glad to learn, though. <laughs> so, um, as you all leave... Thank you. Um, like, how big is this house? Like, is this actually big enough for all of us to a, stay in? Like, it is It is a big house. What are the houses like? Like, are they, they kind of like... More like huts? Or are they kind of like, like, a, like a cottage? Like, what's the, what's the elven so, architecture? I imagine like wood cabins. Or like Hobbit architecture on the inside, where it's got like the rounded, like the cool beams and yeah. stuff. Yeah. I imagine the elves probably aren't big fans of straight lines. They're like you know natural, kind of like <laughs> curved stuff. We like them curves. That's why he likes <laughs> yeah. Bane. No, anyway, no, sorry. 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 It's just hardwired into his brain. One of the reasons <laughs> he's curves and everything. Yeah, it hates it's her like, personality. Yeah. It's just a God loss. damn it. <laughs> okay. Wait a second. Wait a second. I mean, they don't hurt. No. No. I like the curve and whatever. Uh -huh. I just. He just sees it like so, Matrix um, code. Argos is. Uh, he's still just softly crying, and then he says, I should have done more. I shouldn't have left you behind in the house to I should have pleaded with mother and father that we could have all been together as we left well the rebellion before... was, was a, a false venture Unfortunately, if we all went now, when he's saying that, do you mean as in leaving for us to all go fight, or us all to leave before the rebellion? Leave before the rebellion. Oh, okay, I was gonna say because then you know we all would have died possibly, and then nobody would have led them to safety, perhaps. Yeah, no, he's leaving before the rebellion. I wish we had, but you know, mother was never going to go that route. Father, father, neither. <laughs> it's the problem with our race. Too damn proud. Jesus. Well, there's something to show for it with this new nation I've heard of, so. The king has done his best. What have you done, brother? Wandered, 
coming back here every now and then. Staying in Terra? Yes. Mostly Auckland. I'll have to ask you more on that. Probably more in the company of the other, so if you don't mind. Cat. Everything okay? Cat? Yeah. When the arm's there like that, you know. You know it's preventing disaster. <laughs> Stiff arm and a fucking cat right now. <laughs> um, and on, and on that note about while I'm talking and assuming... Do we, like, have the drinks at this point, or... Iris uh, is, like, peeking the... out of, like, an island window to see if the moment is over or not. Has he and the minute her? it, like, like calms like... down, she'll be like, Oh, yes, all of it's okay. ready, come on! And, like, start filing oh. people back into the room. Yeah. <laughs> We've got snacks! Before, before we head back, um, I'll stop him. The tray is just shaking. <laughs> Sebastian, maybe shit just help going him off. That. Sebastian, maybe I you could help him out with that. Oh, Sarge, you're still muted. Just butterscotch galore on the floor. I said Bane's trying to help him as he's like carrying it in. She's like not wanting to be rude and take it off him, but also not wanting it to go everywhere. So she's like, <laughs> Sebastian's just like, oh, I can, uh, I can take that for you. No, I got it. Ooh. <laughs> I'd say you're the snack, Sid. Can I? Can I mage hand, like, just an extra hand on the underside of the tray to just kind of help him keep it stable? <laughs> His arms are still shaking, but the tray is stable. <laughs> this Hold feels on, like I'm like holding nothing! Life. I guess I'm I stronger than I thought! Life. That's exactly what I was going to say. Damn, I'm strong! Absolutely, Sid. You always were. Um, yeah, before... No wonder before... they called me a tripod. Before we start to, like, properly head back there, I'll, I'll, like, put my hand on his shoulder for a second and take the, uh, the arrow off my back. Or the arrow, the bow off my back and hold it out. This this was always yours. Keep it. I gave it to you. Sure, you're hand-carved this. Can always hand-carve another. I've had all this sure. time, too, and I haven't. Let's reluctantly put it back. Care for a drink? Please. Uh, we have hot cocoa, ale, uh, there was some sort of wine that I can't read the label of, but Sigib says it's high class. It's elderberry wine! <laughs> yes, please. Uh, and I think some sort of cider. I'm not sure if it's alcoholic, but uh, here. <laughs> Maybe you can. Maybe maybe you can regale uh, Sid with the tales of the lemonade. <laughs> what the fuck is what? that? <laughs> well, you see, there's a step hop artist. Oh wait, no. <laughs> lemon what now? Lemonade. It's apparently a thing. It's like a lemon drink. It's very good. It prevents Who's the a thing? thing. Uh, I mean me in the right context, but that's not what we're talking about. So. Oh. John Carpenters. <laughs> what? Uh, don't worry about it. Um, okay. Now, <laughs> is everything all right now, Oregian? Manageable, yes. Argos just looks at everybody. Again? I'm sorry. Full? I mean, he animosity. just generally seems sorry. Towards all of you. Yeah. <laughs> Happens. I've had worse. You. Bane still has a scowl. What is your name? Yeah, I'm he lo he motions to Bane. Where God looks at her with puppy eyes. Bane Thorell Windwish. Well, Bane Thorell Windwish. I apologize. What you said was correct. Even if I was not ready to hear them, your words deeply touched my soul. 
my bullet was going to deeply touch your heart, but... I don't doubt and it. My, and my ball was going to deeply touch your eye. I don't doubt that but either. I, I was going to feed him to a dragon, but okay. <laughs> but I understand that clearly there was a lot more going on within. The cleansing was a horrible thing. And I don't doubt that it has ruined the hearts and minds of many of us. Those of you who got to leave didn't get to see the worst of it. Those of us who stayed is far more horrifying than you could think. I don't mean to be disrespectful, but staying was a fool's gambit. I see that now. You won't find absolution in blaming others. If, if I, may, I did what I could for the others, if it helps. Whatever that's worth. They set up oh, a Keyshawn's beacon. I don't know if you've heard of it. I'll have to visit. I'd like that. Hindsight's twenty twenty. If it's under, water that's... under the bridge for you, Eregion, then it's water under the bridge for me. Has Keyshawn I, gone So back long as he makes himself yet? useful. Oh, that he will. Finest hunter I know. I'm the best shot. Bane's gonna oh. take a hot cocoa and, like, <laughs> go outside. I thought you were gonna say Bane's gonna back. take a- I thought you were gonna say Bane's gonna take offense to that. Uh, before Speak. we have- before we have merriment, I will look at a Regeon and, like, give him a stern look and say, Are we? Is there water under the bridge? He's my brother and I love him, of course. Alright. Then let's get drunk. <laughs> let's get fucked up. Uh, sorry, I'm Don't so have sorry, to tell Sarge. Me twice. What did you say yeah. you were doing, Sarge? If I cut you she's, off, sorry. Yeah. she's heading out uh, outside with her cocoa. I just wanted okay. to finish that scene before. You, sorry, you, my you, bad. Did you say to contact Kishan though? Yeah, that's specifically yeah. what what okay. Ben's going to do. Just making sure. Well, speaking of being useful, aside from Auckland, have you spent much time in Arbor lately? Uh. Not lately, but I know a lot of our kind uh, is hidden there. Would you make it through the forest down Carcass away if you had to? We might need a guide. Yeah, I can take us through. Maybe we can stop in Arbor ourselves. Take what? a nice. Well, Captain, you you were you were busy beating the shit out of this uh, pathetic excuse for a fighter. Uh, where the, it seems like that Grimaldi fellow, uh, I think he's a vampire. So what do you say about going in, uh... So hunting, I called it. Hunting a I still what? think he's just a goth human, to be fair. You're saying, you're saying I called it. We're, we're all on board for vampires. No, what we, I'm are, hearing? we are we're not. We told, he is a I goth you, human. I told you stories of vampires as a kid just to scare you. He sleeps with a garlic around his neck every night. I've oh done that God, ever you, since that story. What not. have you done to me? <laughs> you just start seeing this is the first time you hear you hear him laugh. Just, <laughs> his voice like goes up an octave and in the accent. I've not had a single attack yet. I'll have you know. That's what siblings are like. Well, I'm fairly certain it's just a goth human, but yes, we do still need to probably kill him. So oh, the, the poor little Region scared of vampires. I guess they are brothers, but, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so the thought was we go deal with that, come back by Medora and check in on it once, uh, once Cordova's forces have arrived, make sure none of these zombies are back and everything's good enough for us to return to Auckland and well, find what Grimaldi we're looking for. Well, Grimaldi is no friend of mine. He's no friend to, uh, to, a, to any elf. Why not? Yeah, let me show that. I heard so... he smoothed things over with the dwarves for Cordova. Did he... Not try to make overtures to the elves? What's his deal with him? Smooth elves? things over with the dwarves? He practically threatened them. Uh. Oh. So he's a strong arm type. I well, guess when he can't uh, mind control his way out of a problem. Yes, us elves have a bit of a, you know, resistance to that kind of thing. So... When he found out that he couldn't do it to us, he decided to threaten us. What did he threaten you with? 
said he would, you know, if we didn't do what he said, he'd open a portal uh, straight to hell and send the armies of the undead after us. So he could do that. <sighs> Interesting. A portal. And it makes sense. Some evil vampire motherfucker would be working for Genesis as oh. well. Oh, Wait, I'm what saying... are you talking about? Vampire, Were you not in the vampire. village? Yeah, there was no, just, I just a hole. I with, just arrived. There was a hole with zombies that was pouring out of it. He sent armies of the undead? Yes. I thought it was a bluff. Some casualties, unfortunately. Fucker. Uh, I hope we can send him to hell and he can say hello to Grim for us. If send him to what do you think, guys? What do you think, people? We go there first, so there's no more zombies to worry about, then we can finish our business in Auckland? What do you say, brother? Up for another hunt? Yeah, I want to kill Grimaldi myself. Yeah. Get in line. I feel like my axe to grind is a little bit bigger, but... I don't... I don't that like that this Grimaldi... But again, I suppose so long as he's dead, it doesn't really matter. I don't like that Wait, this you Grimaldi seem... can do that. You seem familiar. Like, I've seen someone like you before you might have known my father or my grandfather who was your father the late count of carcassa count marlo sigib yes your son yep back and in the flesh well then you have rightful claim to the countship so why do you think <laughs> do you think we're going Part of the plan, brother. aside aside from the uh the evil law uh, vampire castles even if you weren't evil i was still going to go there and try to root him out of the place but you know, it seems like we really need been, to get rid of him the sigibs have always been kind to our people i will follow you to the the ends of the earth have no other way Looks i like guess is there like I a have, is there like uh, an elven kind of like thank you that i can I don't know, is there like any like particular Elvis ex expression or whatever in their culture? It's just like, thank him in Elvish, some kind of show of sincerity. Uh, usually it's, um, um, it's, uh, similar to what like a Regeon says whenever he like says goodbye to somebody like they fall and keep you, keep but you. it's, uh, uh, Oh, maybe just, you know, Lefauna guide us then? Lefauna is, uh, yeah, Lefauna guide us. So, I will say that to him in Elvish. Well, um, Regeon, do you want to come with me to the, uh, edge of town? We need to cut down a big tree. Of course. It's like old times. I really need to learn Elvish. I have no fucking clue what you guys just said. <laughs> um, so, Bane, you are yes. outside trying to contact Keyshawn. Yep. I've, like, left my bag and all that kind of stuff inside, and I'm pretty much just holding the cocoa. Roll me religion. Excuse me, buddy. We're my little toe beans. Oh. Watching the dice. He's going to try to chase it. Little white paws. <laughs> oh, she's, oh, he's edging out towards it. I actually thought it was... Right, what did you get? Uh, religion is a plus one. Hey, that's not too bad. I rolled a 19 and I got a plus one, so that's a 19. Hmm. I've had worse rolls. Bane, problem. Kishan, speak. Can't. You. And that's all you get. Well, fuck. And it was the sound of uh, Lionheart. It's Lionheart's voice. Bane's gonna like kind of look around and be like, I can't 
can't believe I'm doing this, and she's going to try and reach out to Leaf Olma. Alright. Uh, Something check. along the lines of when in Rome. <laughs> <laughs> I can only imagine Leaf Olma has got like... I, I can only imagine Leaf Leif Olma has got like the cute, the cutesy voice like this, you know? <laughs> I can only imagine. She's Hello, puppet! <laughs> Sorry. Like, I can only imagine. Like, she's like the... Ah. <laughs> so cute. Maybe like super hippie voice? Like, yeah! Has she, has, like she never, super... has she never been heard before? I guess so. Yeah. She has not been uh, been spoken to in all the Don't play with my oh, dice! I, I didn't know if she had been in the main campaign or not, but... Mm -mm. Don't play with them! I think mentioned, but that's it. She's only been mentioned. She's never actually been spoken to. A great, a great honor for you, then, hopefully. Well, I, I hope it works, because I got a nat 20. So that's a 21. I'm rolling really well today! I'm loving these dice! <laughs> Dude, you can't roll the dice. Since you need a better roll, holy shit. Really wants yeah, to. Yeah. Leon rolled that 20. Yes. Um. So, I can't get onto Keyshawn at the moment. And I guess you're the only person who I'd rather speak to. Well, my lovely little elf. It's so oh. nice to hear you calling to me. Let me see if I can't figure out what's going on with Keyshawn. <laughs> Please wait on the line. <laughs> Elevator me. You already had to leave him a voicemail. Uh, mm -hmm. if, you'd like, if you'd like someone to call you back. Oh, there probably. seems to be a really big issue. Oh? Uh, do you have anybody nearby? As, at this point, uh, Aregion walks out the door. Uh, yes, I have someone nearby. And she's talking out loud, because she's like... Aregion, you you see Bane just talking out loud. Everything all right? Hold a moment. <laughs> um, grab their Please hand. Hold. She's going to, like... Grab his hand. God, dude, dude. Okay, okay. okay. She's gonna grab. Leon's, Leon's, Leon's like the hell you are. <laughs> Ben's gonna <laughs> hold on tight. What? <laughs> yep. Hold on tight, and then you immediately are. <clears throat> you are um, flung from your bodies, and everything in the world again. goes slow motion, and you are <laughs> both being rushed. Um into Keyshawn's realm. Holy shit. And you land on um Leaf Olma. No, um... no you you <laughs> land on uh, on the ship that Lionheart is steering and you see Lionheart uh fighting somebody in purple armor. Oh god. Bane is instinctively going to try and run towards him. Yeah. Absolutely. I'll take the uh, other side. And you just see Lionheart just, like, trading blows with him. Wasn't enough that I ripped out your throat, huh? Decide to come fight me here? I'm more powerful here than you are. You fuck. <laughs> I've become more powerful than you. You That's fuck. Right. <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> and as you both are running towards him, that is where we're going to end today's session. Damn. Oh, God. Dude. Thank you all so much for joining us. We appreciate each and every one of you. Um, this has been real, real fun. I'm really oh, excited. Man. Glad we got to have uh, Todd come back for a little bit too. That was awesome. And uh, where are you, things bro. heading? What's going on with the realms of the gods? And uh, it seems Sanix's work isn't done just yet. Just because he died doesn't mean he can't still wreak havoc. But we'll find out all about that next time. So until then, we've been the Smoking Dragons, and there's 20 sides to every story. Come and be a part of ours. Thank you. Good night. We love you. Stay safe. And until next time, on the high seas. Go hug your brother. <laughs> <laughs>